Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Pokemon. The game starts with an unexpected capture of Rayquaza. Chapter 51. Narrowing his eyes, Yi Kai suddenly laughed and said, It seems that I underestimated you a little, but your divine beast will come out today, I said it. Ha ha ha, kid, I have to admit that you are indeed you are quite capable, and your strength is the second best among people of the same age that I have seen but don't think that you can run rampant in the territory of our Tianji organization just because you have two divine beasts. Quote. Second. Then who is the first? First, it's the one from five years ago. Why, you still don't accept it? No, 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 I accept it. I accept it. I really can't compare with that one. Okay, you kid is still you have some self-awareness, but whether you obey or not, you have to fight today. Sha Qingxie secretly covered her mouth and laughed. Dragonite, Dragon Claw. Bangula, continue the evil wave. Zheng Gui, will owe the wisp. Yi Kai saw that the other party was so unethical, so he didn't say anything. It was true that the top beam was not straight and the bottom beam was crooked. Latios, Latias, use Dragon's Fury. As all the moves collided, a huge explosion occurred. The explosion was deafening, and the energy waves spread out. Everyone couldn't help but cover their ears and close their eyes. Eyes closed. A big hole was also blown out in the center of the square. The team leader looked at the hole on the ground and was instantly annoyed. It seemed that they had to fight quickly or their base would be destroyed soon. He took out another advanced ball from his arms. A flash of light passed by. Yandy. A Pokemon that no one had ever seen appeared in the square. Many people in the Tianji organization had never seen this Pokemon. Although they were curious, no one dared to use the machine to scan it. Sha Qingxie thought to herself, it was indeed a Pokemon that she had never seen before. She scanned it with the machine, but there was no information, only a few big words scanning error. I have to say that this 4 on 2 situation is a bit too much now. When Yi Kai saw that it was Emperor Yan, he couldn't help but flash a trace of surprise in his eyes. It was Emperor Yan. Emperor Yan. Not bad, not bad, but that's all. Before the other party spoke, Emperor Yan seemed to understand and let out a roar, to express its dissatisfaction. Although Yi Kai said so, it is impossible for Latios and Latias to handle this situation alone. If Greninja and Big Fat are also level 80, okay, but they are only at level 61, which is 19 levels away. Yi Kai was about to take down the master ball, but he looked at the people here and let go. He looked around briefly. Latio C, Latius, let's go, leave here first and fly upwards. Quote. Alive, Yi Kai and Sha Qingxie were carried by them and rushed into the sky. Stay here and don't follow me. I'll go catch them. The black clad team leader saw this and collected the other Pokemon, riding Dragonite to catch up. Yi Kai's escape was just right his heart. After all, in the battle at home, he would be the one who would lose in the end. But it was different outside, and he must not let the other party escape. If he let the other party escape alive, it would definitely bring them countless troubles. First it means that there is a powerful enemy who knows where your home is, but you don't know where the other party's home is. The other party may launch a sneak attack and confiscate their home at any time. If the other party tells the Dragon Country officials about their specific location, the consequences will be. Thinking of this, the Black Robe team leader knew that he could not let the other party leave this time. Dragon, speed up and catch up with the other party. Suddenly, Yi Kai led Sha Qingxie to a relatively open area with more trees ahead. Fly to sparse places. The team leader at the back was relieved when he saw the two suddenly slow down and fly downwards. It was good that they didn't continue running. If they continued to fly at that speed, they would most likely escape from him. After all, he really couldn't catch up, so it seemed that he had to go back and give this Dragonite some weight. The team leader rode Dragonite and flew down. After a while, several people landed. Do you know why I ran? You're not going to run away halfway. Hearing Yi Kai's words, the team leader was stunned for a moment, and then felt a little uneasy. Confused, what do you mean? Nothing, I just want to beat you up. Hit me. The other party was obviously stunned again. But then there was a burst of laughter. Ha ha ha, ha ha ha. Yi Kai didn't take it to heart, but just raised the corner of his mouth slightly. I'm going to transform into a dragon king. Yi Kai took off the purple pendant on his neck, 
and then it kept enlarging in his hand, a purple pokey ball. The other party stopped laughing when he saw this scene, and stared at the pokey ball in Yikai's hand. Sha Qingxie on the side also looked at Yikai with surprise and said, This, this is actually a pokey ball. But, but why haven't I seen this kind of pokey ball? Yikai just smiled at Sha Qingxie and didn't say anything. The man in black didn't know what happened, and suddenly a very bad premonition rushed to his head. As Yi Kai pressed, ding, a green light rushed straight into the air. When the figure of Rayquaza appeared in front of several people, except Yi Kai, the other two were stunned. Because the man in black was wearing a mask, Yi Kai couldn't see the other party's expression, but the other party's action of looking up and facing Rayquaza motionlessly betrayed him. Sha Qingxie, who was standing by, stared blankly at Rayquaza in the air, muttering, is this the Pokemon from that year? Suddenly, the team leader on the opposite side exclaimed, you, you are the Dragon Country hero. His voice was still trembling. Seeing that the other party recognized him, Yi Kai did not answer directly, but said, do you know why I led you out alone and pretended to escape? I know, I know. Looking at this godlike Pokemon in front of him, the team leader no longer had the slightest thought of resisting. An inequality suddenly appeared in his mind. He is smaller than any of the three leaders, and the three leaders combined are smaller than any of Groudon and Kyogre in those days, while the one in front of him is larger than Groudon and Kyogre combined. This inequality told him that he was an ant in front of this person. Now, as long as you tell me who commissioned you to assassinate Shaoshui, I can let you go. If I didn't want to commit too much sin and expose my identity, I would have killed you all. The man in black looked up at Yi Kai, then at Sha Qingxie, and finally at the sky crane in the sky. Finally, he shook his head helplessly and said, well, okay, I'll tell you. After he finished speaking, he picked up a machine and started to operate it. It should be that he found it. The other party quickly looked up at Yi Kai and said, it's the eldest daughter of the Huang family in Jinghai, Huang Ting. After hearing this, Yi Kai quickly turned his gaze to Sha Qingxie who was standing aside. Sure enough, Sha Qingxie gradually showed surprise on her face, or it could be said that she was incredible and unbelievable, which was even more profound than the expression she had just seen Rayquaza. Gradually, her eyes turned red, as if she couldn't accept it for a while. How could there really be such a person in this world? Then he kept shaking his head and said, why, why, I obviously didn't offend her, why did she do such a cruel thing and put me to death? Why, Akai, woo woo woo. Yi Kai quickly stepped forward and hugged Sha Qingxie in his arms. Alas, I've already said it, human heart. Unpredictable. This time, I think she can grow up a little. The team leader just watched this scene motionlessly, and it seemed that he reacted or was affected by something, and turned around unconsciously to hug Dragonite, which was fat and comfortable to hold. Rayquaza above was watching this scene, this, TM, I'm the only one left alone, this is not appropriate, forget it, who made me a strong man, it should be normal for a strong man to be lonely. After a long time, Yi Kai let go of Sha Qingxie, Sha Qingxue's eyes were slightly red and swollen, but there was a hint of understanding and maturity in her eyes. Looking at Yi Kai's worried face. Then she smiled at him. Seeing this, Yi Kai was relieved and helped her wipe her tears. But when the two saw the black robed man and Dragonite hugging each other, they were a little confused. What was going on? Perhaps sensing the gaze from behind, the black clad team leader quickly let go of Dragonite and turned around. Seeing Yi Kai and the others staring at him. Then, that, is there anything else? If not, I'll leave. Yi Kai couldn't help asking, what did you do just now? Oh, that, normal operation, just wanting to get closer to your Pokemon. Oh, oh, I see. Although Yi Kai and the others still didn't understand, he didn't intend to get to the bottom of this matter. Maybe he missed his mother. If the black clad team leader knew, he would definitely say, yes, I did, I missed your mother. Then can I leave? Yi Kai looked down at Sha Qingxie, then turned around and said, you go. After he finished speaking, the other party rode on Dragonite and flew away. The man in black turned back and looked at Yi Kai deeply in the air. Yi Kai seemed to have noticed the gaze from above, but when he looked, he could no longer see the other party. Yi Kai frowned. Was he having an illusion? 
The reason why Yi Kai let the other party go was not because of other reasons, but because of the word, you. This showed that the other party still respected him, and the other party was definitely not a vicious person. The recognition of the national hero showed that at least his nature was not bad. The team leader who left did not rush back to Tianji headquarters but landed in front of a lake. The lake water was gurgling, clear and transparent, but very calm, like a huge mirror. The team leader walked to the lake, looked at the lake, took off his mask, and stared at himself on the water. It was the face of a peerless woman. This face seemed to have a slight blush. But it revealed a little disappointment. What a pity, I didn't see the hero's full face, and he actually has a girlfriend. On the other side, Yi Kai took Sha Qingxie and flew out of the Kenglin Mountains. Akai, where are we going next? Jinghai. Sha Qingxie was slightly stunned. She knew that Yi Kai would definitely avenge her and seek justice, but she didn't expect Yi Kai to do it so quickly. Although she had a certain understanding of the evil of human nature and knew that she must not be so naive in the future, she was still a little hesitant and couldn't let go of the sudden revenge. She looked at Yi Kai and recalled the two assassinations. If it weren't for Yi Kai, she might have. Since the other party wanted her life, she would be too cowardly and useless if she was ruthless again. Thinking of this, Sha Qingxue's eyes became fierce in an instant. Okay, let's go to Jinghai. Looking at Sha Qingxue's expression just now, Yi Kai also nodded with relief. Yeah, the East China Sea area next to Jinghai City. Under the sea. A huge palace stands here. The surroundings were shrouded in darkness, very mysterious and strange. There was no black substances kept coming out, resulting in no living creatures around. This seemed to be a building from hell. Occasionally, there were bursts of roars coming out of it. There was also a similar building in the submarine volcano group, and black substances were constantly coming out of it. Kyoto, Pokemon Research Institute. Drive Uyang, we succeeded, we succeeded. Because of that stone, Charizard has evolved again. A young, tall and pretty woman, wearing a white coat, looked at the blue Charizard in front of her, and a knowing smile appeared on her face, which should have been serious. How is the data, is there any change? Compared with the previous form, the attributes of the evolved Charizard have been greatly improved in all aspects, almost reaching 50%. Hearing this numerical change, the woman's face was not smiling, but excited, excited and incredible. Charizard, how do you feel? Charizard called out twice to show that he was fine, and stretched out his arms and flexed his muscles. Okay, sort out all the process data of this study, and we will continue to verify it. One time cannot represent the general situation. Yes, Dr. Uyang. That's right, this unbelievably young woman is Dr. Uyang mentioned by the researcher. No one would have thought that such a young female researcher would publish a scientific research result that would make the whole world tremble in the near future. Soon, night fell. Yi Kai brought Sha Qingxie to Beiguang City, a border city in Baishan province. The two stopped not far outside the city. After all, most cities in Longguo have a no-fly order. After Sha Qingxie checked on her mobile phone, Beiguang City was indeed a no-fly order. The two walked side by side towards the city. Suddenly, the two heard something flying towards them from the sky behind them. The two turned around and saw a fire-breathing dragon carrying a young man flying towards them, no, to be more precise, rushing towards them. Seeing this, Yi Kai quickly bent down and hugged Sha Qingxie, protecting her under his body. The fire-breathing dragon also brushed past Yi Kai's back and stopped not far away. The young man on its back looked back at Yi Kai with an arrogant face and said with disdain, Ha ha, two idiots, dare to block my way in the territory of Beiguang City, you are simply looking for death, even if you die, you deserve it. After saying this, he continued to ride the fire-breathing dragon towards Beiguang City, completely ignoring the rules of Beiguang City, but no one stopped him. He must be a child of a rich and powerful person. Yi Kai saw the man leave, and then he slowly let go of Sha Qingxie in his arms. Suddenly, he felt a burning pain in his back. Seeing Yi Kai's slightly grinning expression, Sha Qing hurriedly said worriedly, Akai, how are you, are you okay? Yi Kai pretended to be calm and said, It's okay, how could I, your man, be in trouble? I just like to joke. But the paleness on his face and the constant sweating betrayed him. 
Sha Qingxie seemed to have thought of something and hurried to the back of him. Three scratches appeared on the north, the clothes had been torn, the skin seemed to be scratched, and the cloth around the scratches was gradually soaked. Akai, you, you're back. Sha Qingxue's voice was choked and trembling slightly. Sha Qingxie wanted to touch Yi Kai's back, but she was afraid that Yi Kai would feel pain, so she put her hand down again. It's okay, it's okay, just bear with it, this little injury is nothing, think about the past. Alas. As he spoke, Yi Kai raised his head and looked at the darkened sky. Sha Qingxie behind him was stunned when she heard Yi Kai's words. What does it mean to think about the past? Could it be that Akai had suffered more and more serious injuries in the past? She raised her head and saw Yi Kai straightened up without any pause, looking up. Sha Qingxie was immediately fascinated by this action and shape. How much did Akai have to go through to think this was just a minor injury? And his back looks so majestic. Is this really the back that a man in his early twenties should have? Suddenly, his moist eyes lit up as if he understood something. Yes, Akai became a hero of Dragon Country at such a young age. What did he rely on? Perhaps it was the hardships he had gone through. This solid back is a manifestation of vicissitudes of life, tempered by hardships. Sha Qingxie was thinking about it, but Yi Kai was already grimacing in pain in front of him, with a distorted expression. He just wanted to pretend to be strong and manly in front of his woman. Why was it so painful? The key was that he couldn't change his mind immediately, otherwise the initial pain would be in vain. If he knew that Sha Qingxie was constantly thinking about it, he would probably feel much better. Suddenly, Sha Qingxie hugged Yi Kai from behind. Then she choked and said, Ah, Akai, woo woo woo, you, you are so miserable, woo woo woo. Hem, what do you mean, what do you mean I am so miserable? But it really hurts, at first you didn't dare to touch me for fear of hurting me, now you stick to me directly, give me a full contact, Xiao Shui, I guess you are sincere to mess with me. At this time, Yi Kai's face was so hideous and distorted that it was difficult to recognize him. Suddenly, for some reason, Yi Kai's expression froze instantly. The next moment, hiss. Yi Kai made a very suppressed inhalation sound, as if someone was playing with him to add fuel to the fire. No, to be precise, it was salt on the wound, but where did the salt come from? Yes, there is no salt but there are, salt, tears. Sha Qingxie naturally heard this inhalation sound, so she hurriedly asked, Akai, what, what's wrong? So Yi Kai hurriedly let out a long, sigh, after the, hiss. Ah, no, it's okay, I just feel the passage of time. Oh, woo woo woo. Seeing that it was okay, Sha Qing continued to lie on Yi Kai's back and cried, and cried even harder, probably because she was more touched by what Yi Kai said just now. Thinking in her heart, sure enough, it's the same as I thought, Akai has really experienced too much suffering, I must love him well in the future. Thinking of this, Sha Qingxie couldn't help but hug him tighter and stick to him tighter. This hurt Yi Kai so much that he wanted to call his mother, this, this is not enough for you to sprinkle salt on the surface, but you actually sprinkle it deep inside. Xiao, Xiao Shui, stop hugging me, let go, no, don't let the blood from my back get on you. No, I don't want it, I don't dislike you, I love you. Seemingly to prove the truth of her words, she hugged him tighter without noticing the wrong tone of Yi Kai's voice or his trembling body, she thought Yi Kai was moved by her. This hurt Yi Kai so much that he dared not make a sound. The two sounds raised his pain by two levels. If he said one more word. In this sentence, he was really afraid that he would not be able to bear the pain. Yi Kai was really crying without tears now. If he had known, he would not pretend casually. Now, it was so painful that he almost pretended to be gone. The system in Yi Kai's mind was almost laughing madly, but he did not dare to let Yi Kai hear it blatantly, otherwise his last five-star praise would be lost. Suddenly, he seemed to remember that he had not yet issued the task reward, but he planned to wait until he had laughed enough before talking about it. I don't know how long I have been tortured by Sha Qingxie. Yi Kai now feels a little dizzy and his face has become paler but since it is dark, it is not necessarily visible without careful observation. Suddenly, Yi Kai felt his body relax and thought, it is finally over. Sha Qingxie stopped crying, and walked to Yi Kai with a shy look on her face, saying, Ah, Akai, don't worry, 
what I said is true, I love you, now you believe it, he he. Yi Kai immediately said in his heart. Yes, ah, yes, yes, thank you for your love, I believe you, you finally don't torture me anymore, but don't worry, I will definitely return your love tonight. Yes, I believe it, in fact, I believe it even if you don't say it. Really. Thank you, Akai. Well, okay, help me bandage the wound first. Oh, oh, yes, treat the wound first. Quote. As he said that, he quickly took out a Pokemon ball from his small bag behind him. A flash of light passed by, and it was a happy egg. Seeing this happy egg, he looked at Sha Qingxie, who was full of innocent whiteness, and finally could only sigh helplessly in his heart. Sit down, close your eyes and let happy egg heal you. After a while, Yi Kai was healed by happy egg. Seeing Yi Kai open his eyes, Sha Qingxie hurriedly asked, How is it, is it healed? Yeah. Then Sha Qingxie said angrily, Okay, by the way, who was that guy just now? He dared to hurt people so blatantly, and he also spoke wildly. It's really hateful, don't you think, Akai? Yi Kai looked at Sha Qingxie and thought, Yes, it's really hateful, but you are not bad. But he still frowned and said, well, indeed, if I meet him next time, he will definitely pay the price. Quote. Yes, he must pay the price. Quote. Ah, yes, 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 tonight I will make you pay the price first, he he. The sky was dark, but the weather was very good. Okay, it's getting dark, let's go into the city first. Yeah. Although it was dark, Beiguang City was still brightly lit and bustling. Yi Kai brought Sha Qingxie to a small restaurant to have a, casual, meal. There were not many people eating in the small restaurant, but it was still very lively, and everyone was chatting while eating. The two chose a table in the corner and sat down. After ordering the dishes, they waited quietly for the dishes to be served. Let me tell you, just now, on my way here, I saw the mayor's son riding a fire-breathing dragon on the street again, causing a lot of traffic accidents. I saw a car collide with a large truck. When the person in the car was pulled out, his head was already covered in blood. I guess he hit his head. I don't know if it's serious or not. The man sitting opposite immediately said, you are talking nonsense. His head is covered in blood, and you still ask if it's serious or not. Well, there is a standard for whether it's serious or not. If he didn't die, it's not serious. If he died, it's serious. The man opposite was speechless when he heard this. Okay, since you think so, just pretend I didn't say anything. Yi Kai and Sha Qingxie smiled when they heard it. Akai, do you think that the mayor's son is the one who attacked us? Yi Kai retracted his gaze to the table next to him and said, Well, I think it's 9 out of 10. Hearing Yi Kai's answer, Sha Qingxie couldn't help but clenched her fist and punched the table in indignation. Pung. The sound was quite loud. This really scared everyone in the small restaurant. Seeing everyone looking at him, Yi Kai quickly said, Sorry, please don't mind, I had a little conflict with my wife, haha. Ha. Hearing this, everyone stopped paying attention to them. After a while, the dishes were served, but except for the first three dishes which were normal, the remaining three dishes all made Sha Qingxie feel a little abnormal. Stir-fried pork, beef and mutton kidneys. Braised bull whip and pig whip. Goji berry, ginseng and pork rib soup. Akai, didn't I order a soup? Why did you order another one? Yi Kai said without blushing or beating his heart. I just got injured. I need to replenish my blood and nutrients. Sha Qingxie looked at Yi Kai with an expression of, I see. Oh, you should replenish your body. But then her face became strange. Akai, do you like to eat kidneys and whips? Ah, uh, yes, you may not know that these are the essence of those animals, and they have great effects. Sha Qingxie heard this and said with a puzzled look, really? What effect? Why don't I know? Before Yi Kai could answer, the two men at the next table couldn't help laughing, and then looked at Yi Kai with a look that all men understand, with a little bit of vulgarity in their eyes. Yi Kai glanced at the side, and said with a slight smile, you will know this in the evening. In the evening? Well, eat it quickly, it won't taste good if it gets cold. Oh. Tonight is destined to be a sleepless night. The next day, Yi Kai took Sha Qingxie to continue rushing towards Jinghai City in Latios. Sha Qingxie blushed all the time and didn't dare to look at Yi Kai. Suddenly, a cell phone rang. 
Yi Kai asked Latios to stop first. Sha Qingxie quickly took out her cell phone, and when she saw the note displayed on it, she immediately answered it and turned on the hands-free function. Hello, is this Miss Sha? Yes, I am. Did I disturb you? No, no. Oh, that's good. By the way, is Yi Kai with you? Yes, yes. Oh, then please give him your phone. I have something to say to him. Oh. Then he handed the phone to Yi Kai. Hello, General Chen, what do you want to talk to me about? Oh, I just want to tell you that your ID has been processed. Tell me the address and I'll send someone to deliver it to you. Oh, I don't know where it's going to be sent to, but I'm going to go to Whale Sea soon. Is that so? Then I'll send it to the Pokemon League in Whale Sea. When you go there to pick it up, just call me with Miss Shaw's phone. Is that okay? Okay, that's it. Thank you for your hard work. It's okay. It's my duty. Ha ha. Okay, if it's okay, then I'll hang up. Okay. Beep beep beep. Akai, you. I also have an ID. I will buy a mobile phone and apply for a card when I get to Jinghai later, so that we can contact each other by phone in the future. Okay, let's continue. On the other side, Jinghai City. Yuhai Club. Ms. Huang, we have returned your commission to your card. If you don't believe me, you can check it. Huang Ting frowned and asked in confusion, what do you mean? It means that we will not accept your task. What, why? Huang Ting immediately questioned after hearing this. I don't know about this, but I advise you not to ask. This is what our boss meant. Huang Ting's face changed immediately after hearing this, and she became terrified. What? Boss. Quote. She remembered that the boss of the Tianji organization killed Ren Chinkang, one of the committee members of the Dragon Country Pokemon League headquarters. Although ordinary people don't know who did it, they know that person is the leader of the Tianji organization. You should know that Ren Chinkang had reached the champion level trainer at that time, and he also had a Pokemon over level 80, which shows that he is also a leader among champion Pokemon trainers. But even so, he was killed by that person, and it was not a sneak attack. According to the elders, the scene of Ren Chinkang's body was already riddled with holes, and he was almost beaten to death. The man in black sitting opposite him chuckled when he saw the change on Huang Ting's face. How about it, Miss Huang, let's cancel this deal. Quote. Huang Ting didn't recover from her shock until the other party spoke. Then she said with a little confusion, Ah, oh, then let's cancel it. How dare she disagree? You know, the strongest person in their Huang family is only an ordinary champion. As for the vice chief of the Pokemon League, although he also has the surname Huang, he is not from their Huang family in Jinghai, otherwise the Huang family would have moved to Kyoto long ago. Okay, then goodbye. Of course, if there are other people you want to kill next time, you can still contact me. Quote. After saying that, he stood up and walked out of the room. Huang Ting was left alone in the room. After a while, there was a sound of things being thrown in the room, accompanied by a series of insults. One day later, Yi Kai and Sha Qingxie came to the sky outside Jinghai City. Looking at the prosperous metropolis below, Yi Kai couldn't help but sigh. Jinghai is indeed the city with the strongest economy in Longguo. It is really not comparable to Meteor City. Just looking from a distance, there are tall buildings everywhere, and the land area is several circles larger than Meteor City. The two landed when they were about to approach the restricted airspace. Let's go. Yes. But before Yi Kai and the others took two steps, there were waves of violent vibrations from the ground. The stones on the ground were shaken up and down. The weather was very bad, but the weather was very bad. Sha Qingxie looked at Yi Kai quickly, Akai, what's going on? I don't know. Yi Kai frowned and stared at Whale Sea. After a while, the vibration disappeared. Let's go to Whale Sea City first. Yes. Whale Sea Pokemon Alliance. League Leader's Office. An old man with long white hair stood in front of the desk and looked at the sea through the window. That's right, the Whale Sea Pokemon Alliance was established on the coast, and in addition to playing a basic role, the Whale Sea Pokemon Alliance also has an extremely important function, that is, guarding, which is equivalent to adding the function of the garrison army directly to the alliance. Since Jinghai has a very high strategic position in Longguo, the level of Jinghai city is the same as that of a province, and even slightly higher than that of an ordinary province. 
For example, the leader of Jinghai is at least champion level, but the leaders of other places are only between the king level and champion level trainers. So there is no need to clearly state the level of this old man. Dong Dong. Come in. A sturdy middle-aged man with a general star on his shoulder walked in. Go ahead. Report to the chief. According to our analysis just now, this earthquake is not an ordinary earthquake. Hearing this, the old man turned around and looked at the major general, frowning slightly and said, Oh, what's the situation? According to our detection department, the source of this earthquake came from the sea area about 20 kilometers away from the Whale Sea. The source is very close to us, and the source is not from the crustal movement on the seabed, but from, a point. A point. Yes, as for the specific reason, we are still analyzing it. The old man turned around and looked at the sea again, his eyes full of worry and solemnity. Okay, go down, remember to tell me as soon as there is any situation. Yes. The major general saluted and turned to walk towards the door, but before he took two steps. By the way, also, strengthen the recent patrol force, especially the situation at sea. Yes. Until the sound of the door closing, the old man kept staring at the sea. Oh, I hope it's just my illusion. Since Sha Qingxie studied here, she was quite familiar with Whale Sea. Sha Qingxie took Yi Kai around and completely forgot about the earthquake just now. After walking for a few hours, Yi Kai didn't know how many clothes Sha Qingxie bought for him. With so many bags hanging on his body, he felt that his whole body was about to fall apart. He had an illusion that he was back to the time when his mother took him shopping for clothes when he was a child. Yi Kai finally felt the love from his mother again. Suddenly, Yi Kai found Sha Qingxie standing in front of him motionless, as if she was frozen. Seeing this, he hurriedly walked up and patted her shoulder. What's wrong, what are you in a daze? Oh, oh, I. I saw Huang Ting. Huang Ting. Sha Qingxie pointed to a luxury store with her finger, that's it. When she said this, Sha Qingxue's tone was obviously filled with a hint of murderous intent, and her eyes were fixed on the front. Yi Kai followed the direction of Sha Qingxue's finger and locked onto a woman in a yellow dress in a luxury store. Is it the one in the yellow dress? Sha Qingxue didn't say anything, but just nodded mechanically. In an instant, Yi Kai's face darkened, and his eyes were full of murderous intent, but he immediately suppressed it. Let's go, find a place to hide first and see where she will go next. Yi Kai pulled Sha Qingxue's sleeve, but she didn't seem to react. She still stared at Huang Ting, and her hands couldn't help but clench tightly. Seeing this, Yi Kai hurriedly walked in front of Sha Qingxue to block her sight. Only then did she react, but she still looked at Yi Kai with a strange face. This is not the place to fight. I promised General Chen to minimize the social impact as much as possible. Let's go. At this moment, Huang Ting, who was picking clothes in the store, seemed to feel something, and hurriedly turned her head to look at Sha Qingxue's place, but was blocked by Yi Kai. After looking for a long time, she didn't see anything unusual. She frowned slightly, it seems that the anger is still not over. I am starting to have illusions. Thinking of this, she retracted her gaze and continued to pick clothes. Because the Tianji organization refunded her money yesterday, she couldn't kill Sha Qingxie for the time being, which made her very annoyed. She planned to use the refund to spend some money. Bo, let off some steam, so she's been here for the past two days. Sha Qingxie looked at Yi Kai's serious eyes, finally loosened her fist, took a deep breath and said, Okay, I'll listen to you. Well, that's good. After that, Yi Kai took Sha Qingxie away from the place. One hour later, Huang Ting walked out of the commercial building with her bags, came to the underground garage, and got into her red supercar, Farah. Just as she was about to start, she suddenly found that she couldn't start it no matter how hard she tried. She got out of the car and started looking around the car in anger, but she looked around for a long time and nothing happened. At this moment, Yi Kai drove the strongest sub on the surface, Jinatame UORS, and stopped in front of Huang Ting's car. Huang Ting naturally noticed this scene. Yi Kai opened the window and asked with a smile, Beauty, what's wrong? Is the car broken? Huang Ting saw that the other party was also driving a luxury car, so she replied with a bitter face, Yes, the car was fine when it came, but now it can't go back and can't start. 
Oh, so, my home is in Wangpu district, and what about you? If it's on the way, I'll give you a ride. Huang Ting's eyes lit up instantly when she heard this. Your home is in Wangpu district. My home is also in Wangpu district. Yi Kai also showed a look of surprise and blurted out, Really? Is it such a coincidence? If you don't mind, get in the car. I'll give you a ride. Huang Ting saw that the other party seemed to be a coincidence. She looked at Farah who was standing beside her and said with a smile, Okay, thank you. Oh, it's okay. By the way, do you want me to help you get your stuff? Forget it, no need. I can do it myself. There aren't many things. Let me do it. As he said that, Yi Kai had already opened the car door and got out of the car. Then he came to the passenger seat of Huang Ting's car, took out the big and small bags first, then opened the back seat and slowly put the things in. Oh, thank you so much. No need to say thank you or not, come on, get in the passenger seat. As he said that, he opened the passenger seat door for Huang Ting. Seeing this, the other party also sat in with a smile. Ha! After closing the car door, Yi Kai also sat in the main driver's seat. Fasten your seat belts, let's go. Yes. Slowly driving out of the garage, Yi Kai stepped on the accelerator and started running wildly on the road, with the corners of his mouth unconsciously slightly raised. One hour ago, Yi Kai learned the basic information and basic habits of Huang Ting from Sha Qingxie. The two of them were so busy that they had to face each other. According to the information provided, a series of plans were carefully formulated, they quickly rented a car, made Huang Ting's car so that it couldn't start, and put on heavy makeup to turn Yi Kai into a young handsome man, who was completely different from the original. Yi Kai and Sha Qingxie in the back seat of the car didn't expect to complete the most important step so smoothly. Along the way, Yi Kai kept communicating with Huang Ting, but it was mainly about Pokemon. After all, what else did Yi Kai, a country bumpkin, know? As the car continued to drive out of the city, Huang Ting also found something wrong. Frowning slightly, she looked at Yi Kai in the driver's seat, Brother, did you take the wrong road? No, haven't you taken this road before? This road can also lead to Wangpu district. Really? All right then. Hearing this, Huang Ting temporarily suppressed her doubts. But as the car continued to drive, Huang Ting finally found something wrong. It was almost out of the city. Associated with it, we just happened to meet and live in the same district. Oh, and there was another coincidence. We just happened to drive back. How could there be so many coincidences? Huang Ting, who realized the problem, immediately turned her head and asked loudly with a serious face, Who are you? This is not the road to Wangpu district. Seeing this, Yi Kai knew that he could not pretend anymore, but the car was about to leave the city, and it didn't matter whether it was exposed or not. He grinned and sneered, it seems that you are not stupid. You have seen all this, but it is too late. Hearing this, a chill instantly hit Huang Ting's head, her eyes widened, and her pupils shrank slightly. At the same time, she secretly regretted that she had stayed in Jinghai City for so many years, and she knew that this road was blocked, but she still believed the other party's lies. Did her brain crash? But it is useless to think so much now. She must ask the other party to stop the car quickly. In the city, she can still use her identity as the eldest daughter of the Huang family to rely on the power of the government and the alliance. As for what the other party is going to do to her, it is definitely not a good thing. Huang Ting was about to fight with Yi Kai, but suddenly a rope was strangled by her neck from behind, and she was forced to stop the next action. After strangling her neck, the rope tightened quickly. Huang Ting grabbed the rope around her neck with both hands, and instantly felt a sense of suffocation. Instantly, her face and neck turned red, her face was hideous, and her body began to twist and struggle, trying to break free from the rope. Sister Huang, the voice was full of ruthlessness and depth, and even murderous intent. Instantly, Huang Ting was stunned and paused. She was very familiar with this voice. This was the voice she hated the most. Instantly, she understood that the other party must have known that she had sent someone to kill her. But how did the other party know about it? Even if the Tianji organization did not accept her commission, it would not be possible to expose the employer's information, right? And why did the Tianji organization suddenly not want to accept the commission to assassinate the other party? 
Huge doubts and fears filled her brain. Sha Ching. Before she could even pronounce her name, the force on the rope suddenly increased again. She felt that she was about to suffocate. Her eyes were rolling and her struggle became more and more intense. But gradually, her movements slowed down until she stopped completely, as if just now was her last struggle. Seeing no movement, Yi Kai stretched out his finger and put it on the other person's nose, and there was no breath. Okay, Xiao Shui, the person is dead. At this time, the car had driven out of the city and entered the suburbs. The car had its first slight tremor, and Yi Kai found that there was no response, so he turned his head and looked back. I saw Sha Qingxie leaning on the back seat, her eyes were dull, her palms were red, and her mouth was still moving slightly, as if she was mumbling something. It seemed to be saying, I, I killed someone, I, I really killed someone, dead, dead. Yi Kai retracted his gaze and continued to drive. He knew that this was Sha Qingxue's first time killing someone, so it was like this. After driving for another 10 minutes, Yi Kai stopped. Sha Qingxie looked at Yi Kai in front of her with a dull look. I'm going to deal with the body in my room. Do you want to come with me? No, no, you go. Yi Kai knew that he needed to adapt to this, so he didn't intervene but got out of the car and went to the passenger seat, dragging the slightly stiff body and walking towards the woods. Yi Kai found a puddle and threw the body into it, then released Latios and used the a low-profile version of Dragon's Fury. The mist dissipated, and after taking a look at the water gradually dyed red by blood and some scattered rags, he took back Latios and turned away. Just when Yi Kai was about to return to the car. In an instant. The earth began to shake again, this time more violently than last time, making Yi Kai a little unstable and almost falling. Whale Sea, Coast. The sky seemed to be slowly covered by a huge piece of grey silk, and the clouds were low and heavy, as if they could touch the sea surface. The sunlight had long been blocked without a trace, and the entire Whale Sea coast was shrouded in a depressing atmosphere, which continued to spread towards the urban area of Whale Sea. The sea breeze began to become manic and restless, with a salty and humid breath and an impending threat, whistling across the sea, raising layers of huge waves. These huge waves no longer beat the shore as gently as usual, but became extremely fierce, hitting the embankment again and again, making a deafening roar. Seagulls and other seabirds seemed to sense the approach of the storm. They no longer soared leisurely in the sky, but flew low, looking for a safe haven. On the sea, many ships were constantly overturned by the strong wind and huge waves. Many people on the shore of Jinghai City have been carried away by the huge waves, and the sea water continues to pour into the city. Seeing this scene, many people began to scream and run away. Some even ignored the regulations of Jinghai City and directly released their Pokemon to protect themselves. Seeing someone do this, many people followed suit. Lao Zhang, aren't you afraid of being arrested for ideological education? I just want to ask you whether your life is more important or some broken regulations are more important. What you said makes sense. In Jinghai, except for those Pokemon within the specified size, others can only be released in specific places, but now everyone can't care so much, saving their lives is important. Now Jinghai City has gradually become a mess. Jinghai Pokemon Alliance. In the command room, Alliance leader Chu Zongtian looked at the big screen with a serious look, and a lieutenant general stood behind him. Alliance leader, the sea seems to have turned black. Did it turn black? Zoom in the sea. Yes. The operator beside Chu Zongtian responded quickly. As the sea surface was constantly enlarged, everyone found that the sea water had indeed turned black, and from the big picture, this phenomenon was still spreading around with the continuous surge of the waves. At first, they thought that the sky was covered by dark clouds, which caused the visual blackness, but they didn't expect it to be really black. Many citizens also discovered this scene, and many people knew that this incident was unusual. Then, the sky began to flash and thunder, and raindrops as big as beans kept falling. Yi Kai looked at Jinghai from the suburbs. At this time, the entire Jinghai city had been shrouded in a storm. The prosperous city just now was like a small boat on the sea, swaying with the shaking of the earth. The weather was very bad, but the weather was very bad. Yi Kai released Latios again, sat on Latios and came to the car window and shouted to the car, Xiao Shui, there is a situation in Jinghai City. I will go to see it. 
You stay in the car and wait for me to come back. This is Snorlax's pokey ball. Let him protect you. Then he threw a pokey ball on the back seat and flew towards Jinghai. Okay, then you must pay attention to safety. Sha Qingxie stretched her head out of the window and shouted at Yi Kai who was going away. Hmm. Now the entire Jinghai is almost completely covered by seawater, and many systems have been paralyzed, including the most important power system. Gradually, the amplitude of the ground vibration decreased. Whale Sea Pokemon Alliance. In the command room. Chu Zongtian frowned and asked, have you found the source of the earthquake? The lieutenant general behind him said, found it, it's still in the same place as last time, 20 miles away from us. Chu Zongtian frowned even more after hearing this. Suddenly, the command room went dark. The lieutenant general said, huh, what's going on? The operator said, well, it seems that the power system is paralyzed. What, start the alliance backup power system immediately? Yes. In just two minutes, the command room gradually lit up. The lieutenant general couldn't help wondering, why is the screen still black? The operator quickly explained, it's okay, the command room system needs to be restarted, so it will take some time. Hearing this, the lieutenant general stopped talking. After a while, the big screen lit up again. But the picture on the big screen stunned everyone present. On the coast, amidst the turbulent waves, a huge blue-black object slowly emerged on the sea. Everyone in the command room stared at the screen with their eyes wide open. They dared not breathe and just stared at the screen. As the huge object continued to emerge, the solemnity on everyone's faces gradually turned into fear. When it completely emerged from the sea, the surprise and fear on the faces of everyone in the command room reached its peak. Chu Zongtian squinted his eyes, took a step forward, and said in disbelief, This, is this Kyogre. Quick, zoom in, zoom in on this Pokemon for me. The operator quickly reacted, Yes, yes. And then hurriedly operated. As the picture continued to zoom in, Chu Zongtian and the lieutenant general couldn't help but think of the scene of the battle five years ago. The lieutenant general's face was instantly occupied by an expression of surprise and fear. His eyes were wide open, and his pupils were dilated rapidly due to shock. He swallowed his saliva and said, really, it's really Kyogre. The same thing happened to Chu Zongtian in front of him. After all, they were all people who had personally experienced the war that year. Suddenly, Chu Zongtian reacted and said hurriedly, quick, quick, contact the Jing Pokemon League. Oh, okay, okay. As he said that, another operator hurriedly operated. Chu Zongtian turned around and said to the lieutenant general behind him, you should quickly understand the current situation of the citizens of Jinghai City and organize them to evacuate inland as soon as possible. Speaking of this, Chu Zongtian took a deep breath, put his hands on the other's shoulders, and his tone became extremely serious. He continued, remember, we must do our utmost to rescue every citizen in distress, and tell the soldiers and comrades that it is time to truly dedicate ourselves to the people and the country. Remember, always put the safety of citizens lives first. The lieutenant general's face also showed unprecedented seriousness and solemnity. He did not speak, but saluted Chu Zongtian solemnly and left the command room quickly. Chief, connected. Hearing this, Chu Zongtian immediately came to the screen beside him, looked at the operator on the screen and said, Hello, I am Chu Zongtian, the leader of the Pokemon Alliance in Jinghai City. Please tell Leader Long immediately that Kyogre appeared in Jinghai. I want to talk to him face to face. Please hurry up. The operator on the other side saw Chu Zongtian's serious and anxious face, and quickly responded, Okay, I'll contact him right away. Kyoto, Pokemon Alliance Headquarters. Suddenly, there was a rapid knock on the door of the leader's office. Come in. A middle-aged man in a business suit quickly opened the door and walked in without even closing the door and then said directly to the old man on the chair, Leader, Chu Zongtian, the leader of Jinghai City, said that Kyogre appeared in Jinghai. This middle-aged man is the secretary of Leader Long. Although he knew some details about Kyogre and the incident, when the command room contacted him, he rushed here to report without paying much attention to the rules. Alliance Leader Long was originally dissatisfied with the secretary's behavior, but when he heard the three words, Kyogre, he immediately stood up from his seat, his face instantly filled with surprise and solemnity, and that dissatisfaction had long been thrown behind his mind. 
The next second, before the secretary could react, Alliance leader Long hurriedly ran towards the command room. Seeing this, the secretary also reacted quickly and chased after him. Jinghai City. In the command room. At this time, Chu Zongtian clenched his hands into fists, and his knuckles turned slightly white due to the force. He rubbed them from time to time, and his steps began to become hurried and messy. He paced back and forth from time to time, and wiped the sweat from his head from time to time. The operators were all amazed at this scene. Was this still the calm leader who was always calm? But at the same time, they also knew that this matter was not simple. Chu Zongtian. Where is he? Upon hearing this, Chu Zongtian immediately came to the screen. When he saw the appearance of Alliance leader Long, he felt a little relieved. He immediately replied, I'm here. Share the picture with me quickly. Okay. Chu Zongtian hurriedly said to the operator beside him, share the picture quickly. Yes. After a while, the picture of the surface of the whale sea appeared on another screen in the Kyoto operation room. Alliance leader Long hurriedly said, switch the screen to the largest screen. Yes. Alliance leader Long looked at the picture on the screen with his eyes slightly narrowed. When he saw the very familiar figure in the heavy waves, his eyes widened instantly. But he instantly felt something was wrong. Why did the color of Kyogre become much darker? But he didn't look at it for long, thinking that it was because it was too dark. Chu Zongtian, you organize the fighting force first and keep a close eye on it. I will contact Mu Lao, Hua Mengju and Huang Mengju to start the discussion. That's it. I'll hang up first. Yes. Chu Zongtian replied and immediately dialed the landline on the table in the command room. Hello, this is Chu Zongtian, quickly organize. On the other side, Yi Kai was flying over Jinghai City on Latios. Looking at the urban area that had been flooded by the dark sea water, the entire city was obviously paralyzed. There were many Pokemon in the low altitude and on the water, but none of them carried people. He asked Latios to slow down. Observing various places in the city, but basically just a glance. As the depth continued, Yi Kai suddenly found a large number of people in military uniforms and alliance uniforms scattered on the streets of the city, heading towards where other people were, seemingly to rescue. Seeing this, Yi Kai nodded his head to express his relief. It seems that the local officials are quite competent. Yi Kai began to speed up. After all, he didn't find anything strange along the way except that the color of the sea water became darker, and it seemed to be almost black. Sea water. Latios, speed up, let's go to the beach. Latios shouted and flew towards the beach at a high speed. Jinghai City, inside the command room. Chu Zongtian said, contact me if you have any news. Then he left. Not far from Kyogre, Chu Zongtian was standing on the back of a whale king with a group of whale sea king level and above trainers. Looking at the scene in front of him carefully, Chu Zongtian found the clues of Kyogre in front of him. The body color of this Kyogre was too dark, almost black, so he quickly took out his mobile phone and looked at the photo of Kyogre five years ago. Compared with the picture, this Kyogre was not only a little darker in color, but even the red stripes on its body changed from red to dark red. Suddenly, he stared at Kyogre not far away and did not move. His eyes gradually widened. Its abdomen was covered with countless spikes, which were densely packed and very creepy and weird, and seemed to reveal an evil breath. Recalling the Kyogre of the past, although it looked scary, it did not give people that weird and evil feeling. So a question unconsciously emerged in his mind, is this really Kyogre in front of him? Or maybe Kyogre has mutated. Thinking of this, he couldn't help but shudder. At this moment, a scream suddenly came from behind him. Why? Why are there so many dead fish? This sentence attracted everyone's attention. Following the shouting man's line of sight, they saw countless white spots vaguely appearing on the sea surface around them. After a closer look, these were all fish, and they were dead fish. Many of them had already floated on the sea surface, but they were buried again and again by the black waves, causing them to not notice them at first. Seeing this, they couldn't help but feel a chill in their backs, and the shock in their hearts was self-evident. The person who just spoke was a major general, and then said, what's going on? Everyone slowly came back to their senses, Chu Zongtian couldn't help but frown, and a stronger sense of uneasiness emerged from his heart. Then he said to the major general who was talking, 
put some seawater in a bottle and bring it back to the research institute. Let them analyze the seawater quickly. Also, go to the command room and tell the Dragon Alliance leader to take a closer look at this Kyogre. This Kyogre is not right. Yes. He saluted and took out the Poke Ball. He sat on a pocus and flew away quickly. Chu Zongtian looked at the man who was going away, and suddenly his eyes condensed. Everyone, take out the flying Pokemon and fly to the sky. Although everyone was confused, they still did it. After everyone flew into the air with their own Pokemon, Chu Zongtian rode Dragonite to take back the Whale King. At this time, someone wondered, Alliance leader, why do you have to fly into the air? Since this sea water is useful for ordinary fish, what about other creatures, or Pokemon? Will it have any bad effects? In short, I don't want to take risks before the analysis report comes out. By the way, you, quickly inform Lieutenant General Jia that you should not use water-type Pokemon during the rescue, but must use flying-type ones, and try not to contact with seawater, because there is a problem with seawater. Yes. Before this, when Lieutenant General Jia led everyone to start the rescue operation, he had already discovered something wrong, because the waves in the urban area were far less than that and they would inevitably come into close contact with the sea water during the rescue, so they discovered this situation at the beginning, so they asked all their men to use flying-type Pokemon, and those who did not have flying-type Pokemon would squeeze two people to one Pokemon. But General Jia did not send anyone back to report, but organized people to speed up the rescue. Due to the problem of seawater, the difficulty of rescue has greatly increased, so now for them, time and manpower have become more tense. After all, one more person, or more time, may save one more life. In the Kyoto command room, Yu Lao, Long Meng. The four people, including the leader, the leader of the alliance, the leader of the alliance, the leader of the alliance, and the leader of the alliance, the leader of the alliance, gathered together. Among them, the leader of the alliance, the leader of the alliance, the leader of the alliance, had a lot of sweat on their heads, and their breathing was relatively rapid. After understanding the general situation, several people started to discuss. The elder of the alliance frowned and said, everyone, what do you think? The elder of the alliance, the leader of the alliance, said seriously, I think that the Pokemon trainers of the king level and above should be mobilized immediately to support the whale sea. What about the remaining two? The leader of the alliance, the leader of the alliance, said, I agree. I agree too, but it would be better if the one from that year was here, alas. The leaders of the alliance, the leaders of the alliance, the leaders of the alliance, heard the words of the leader of the alliance, and then shook their heads helplessly. And the elder of the alliance, the brows of the elder of the alliance, were slightly relaxed. At this moment, the operator of the laboratory suddenly turned his head and said, Common, Jinghai sent a message, asking you to take a closer look at Kyogre. It seems that something is wrong. Old Mew asked in confusion, what's wrong? Then several people quickly turned their eyes to Kyogre on the big screen. Zoom in, close up of that Pokemon. Yes. It was zoomed in continuously, and after several people carefully looked at it, they finally found something wrong. Alliance leader Long couldn't help but exclaimed, why is Kyogre's abdomen covered with spikes? At first, he didn't look carefully, so every time a huge wave surged, Kyogre's exposed abdomen didn't notice anything different. Quote. Alliance leader Wa also frowned and continued, don't you see that the color of this Kyogre seems to have really darkened, and it's not a color difference problem. Hearing this, the remaining few people squinted their eyes and looked at it more carefully. Indeed, this is not a color difference problem. Well. Quote. Mu Lao said, could it be that this Kyogre has mutated? Dragon Alliance leader pondered and said, well, this possibility cannot be ruled out. Wa Elder said, okay, let's act quickly. Regardless of whether it is mutated or not, the weather changes brought about by its appearance alone will bring great disasters to Dragon Country. Mu Lao said, okay. Then let's start the action. Quote. The other two nodded solemnly and left the command room, followed by Alliance Leader Wa. Only Elder Mu was left to command. After seeing that everyone had left, Elder Mu quickly asked an operator to contact General Chen. On the outskirts of Jinghai, Sha Qingshe in the car looked at the, drip drip, raindrops and dark clouds outside the window, and looked nervously at Jinghai city in the distance.
praying silently for Yi Kai in her heart, please don't get into trouble, come back safely. Suddenly, the phone next to her rang, and the sound gave people an inexplicable urgency, and it seemed that the rhythm was much faster than usual. Incoming call, General Chen. The two of them were busy, but the two of them were busy. Sha Qingxie quickly picked up the phone and answered the call. Then a hurried voice came from the other end of the phone. Hello, is this Miss Sha? Sha Qingxie listened to the hurried tone and quickly responded, I am. Is Yi Kai next to you? No. No. These two words were obviously said more hurriedly, which shows how General Chen's mood changed at this time. Where did he go? Oh, Akai went to Jinghai City. Really? Do you know what he was going to do? I don't know the details. He just said that Jinghai was not right and he went to check the situation. Oh, thank you. I'll hang up first. He spoke very quickly. Before Sha Qingxie could react, the phone started to beep. Kyoto. Command room. Really? That's great. I got it. Mu Lao hung up the phone with a smile, but when he looked at the strange Kyogre on the screen, his face was still solemn, but not as serious as at the beginning. Jinghai City. Chu Zongtian and his men stared at Kyogre in front of them, not daring to let down their guard. Seeing that the other party had no intention of attacking, they planned to confront each other first. It would be best to wait for other support to arrive. After all, he had just received news that Kyoto was mobilizing experts to support Jinghai. It can only be said that Chu's idea is very beautiful, but the reality is very skinny. Suddenly, Kyogre moved, and saw its wings like giant hands flapping towards the front of the sea, and an extremely majestic wave came towards Chu Zongtian. The height of this wave has exceeded their temporary flight altitude. Because everyone has been staring at each other, when the other party made a move, everyone immediately reacted, and then immediately flew up and successfully avoided the attack. Just after they breathed a sigh of relief, they heard a loud noise behind them. Everyone hurriedly turned around and saw that several buildings on the shore of Jinghai City behind them were smashed by huge waves, and the ruins were in ruins. Everyone was angry and horrified when they saw this, but fortunately the people there had successfully evacuated and no casualties were caused. Chu Zongtian and everyone turned their heads again, their eyes full of the flames of fighting and defending their homes. Let's go, let this guy see how powerful we are. Good. After that, everyone dispersed. The first shot was fired by Chu Zongtian, Dragonite, Dragon Wave. Dragonite flapped its wings and flew high, cutting through the sky, like a silver lightning, rushing straight to where Kyogre was. Dragonite's eyes revealed determination and fearlessness. Facing Kyogre's huge body and surging waves, Dragonite was not afraid at all. It opened its huge mouth, and a strong dragon wave roared out, rushing straight to Kyogre. However, Kyogre would not sit still and take a beating. It roared, and the sea surface suddenly became turbulent. A powerful force surged from the bottom of the sea, forming a huge water tornado, which easily resolved Dragonite's attack. Then, Kyogre waved its fins covered with dark blue light, and a powerful water cannon attacked Dragonite like a raging wave. Dragonite was already unable to dodge at this time. At this critical moment, Charizard and Dragonite in the back joined the battle at the same time. Charizard, Dragon's Fury stop the water cannon. Dragonite, Dragon's Fury and Charizard attack the water cannon together. Charizard's whole body glowed red like fire, and Dragonite used its amazing speed and strength to attack with a powerful Dragon's Fury, trying to break the water cannon. It actually broke. In fact, at first, the trainers of these two Pokemon came with the mentality of giving it a try and treating a dead horse as a living horse. After all, they didn't think that their two level 70 Pokemon could block the attack of a level 90 Pokemon, and it was Kyogre. Chu Zongtian naturally saw this scene. After retreating to a distance from Kyogre, Chu Zongtian asked, what are the levels of your Pokemon? My Charizard has just reached level 70. My Dragonite is almost at level 71. Hearing this, Chu Zongtian had a huge doubt in his mind. When did Kyogre's attack become so easy to break? Could it be that Kyogre was injured that year and has not recovered yet? No, 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 this is impossible. If this is the case, then he would not have been almost killed by the opponent in the first place. It was hit in the collision. No, it seems that there were more than two Dragon Furies just now, and there was one more. 
At this time, the other two seemed to realize this, and they immediately looked up and saw a pretty boy with a wet makeup riding a blue and white Pokemon standing above them. Could it be that the previous shot was from the pretty boy in front of them and the Pokemon he was sitting on? To be honest, they were a little bit unbelievable, and then they looked at each other with strange expressions. The people scattered around also gathered together quickly at this time, asking about the situation just now. After all, they were just staring at Kyogre and Chu Zongtian just now, and did not notice that there were people in the sky. That's right, the extra dragon wave just now was what Yi Kai asked Latios to shoot. In fact, Yi Kai had arrived a few minutes ago, but Chu Zongtian and the others were too focused on Kyogre, so no one noticed it at all. When Yi Kai saw this Kyogre, his first feeling was that it was weird, and his intuition told him that the monster in front of him was not Kyogre. Suddenly, a word popped up in his mind, Sea Monster. Yi Kai had actually only seen the, Sea Monster, Pokemon in the Pokemon game. In the game, the description and appearance of the Sea Monster were similar to the one in front of him, but that was ultimately just a game. When he really saw this real version, he was really shocked. Horrible, evil, weird, dark. It stands to reason that this Pokemon is not naturally produced, and the most likely possibility is, artificial. Someone collected Kyogre's cell tissue, based on the genes inside, and then used biotechnology to transform it to produce a new Pokemon, such as Mewtwo. But although the one in front of him looks like a Pokemon, it is a monster in Ikai's eyes. After all, Mewtwo always looks much better than this guy, who is full of evil and gives people an uncomfortable feeling. In fact, the main reason why Yi Kai thought it was not Kyogre at first glance was that Rayquaza did not react, and even Kyogre's nemesis Groudon did not appear. You know, as long as Kyogre starts to appear, the land will turn into the sea, and then Groudon will definitely appear to confront or even start a war. But this time the monster in front of him has already turned part of the land into the sea, but it did not attract Groudon, or attract Groudon's attention. And this guy's ability to control or influence the weather is far inferior to Kyogre. Kyogre can directly affect the global weather, but this monster can only gradually spread its influence from the center of its own location to the surrounding areas. The more the enemy attacked, the more they were defeated. Just as Yi Kai was analyzing, a loud noise suddenly interrupted him. Then he saw the scene where the first bird was about to be hit, so he helped. Suddenly, a shout came from below. Little friend, thank you for just now. Although Yi Kai heard it, he did not speak, but released Latias. Latios, Latias, use 100,000 volts on this monster together. After receiving the order, the brother and sister looked at each other and accumulated strength at the same time. Then, the two of them hit the sea monster almost at the same time, and the two strong currents intertwined and became a stronger current. The other party sensed the attack, and immediately lifted its tail up, and then slapped it, and a huge wave rose up, covering itself like a defensive screen. But it was directly penetrated by the thick electric current and hit the sea monster, which made it tremble, let out a creepy roar, and then slowly sank into the sea. The people below cheered when they saw this scene, only Chu Zongtian was still staring at the place where the sea monster sank. He always felt that even if the previous attack was strong, it would not be enough to defeat the other party directly. Yi Kai naturally knew this, and the sea monster was not that simple, but the tacit cooperation of Latios and Latias just now really amazed Yi Kai. Sure enough, the next second, two whirlpools suddenly appeared on the sea surface, and then two thick water columns rushed into the sky and shot towards Latios and Latias. But the two beasts seemed to have known it long ago, and dodged it with a lightning speed. Seeing that it had missed, the sea monster did not hide and rushed out of the sea. Then the evil energy in its body began to surge violently, and a deep purple light gradually emerged around its body, which contained endless malice and destructive power. Then, it opened its mouth, and a twisted dark purple wave gushed out of its mouth. It was the evil wave. Yi Kai clearly felt that this evil wave was much stronger than the one emitted by the Bangira, the leader of the Tianji organization. Since this attack had absolute restraint on Latios and Latias, Yi Kai had to let the two dodge. At the moment when the evil wave came, Yi Kai only felt that his right leg was only a few centimeters away from the wave. If Latios' reaction or speed was a little slower, 
his right leg would probably be directly annihilated by this terrifying dark purple energy. Even though he was now in the rain and his whole body was cold and wet, he still felt a cold sweat on his back. Just when Yi Kai was about to fight back again. Before the sea monster returned to the sea, a more domineering blue energy beam hit the sea monster directly, and this hit the sea monster and rushed towards the distant sky along the direction of the beam. You should know that the weight of the sea monster is heavier than Kyogre, and under this oblique shock, this behemoth can be pushed into the sky, which shows how fierce this energy is. Everyone was attracted by the source of this energy, and saw four blue vortices around Kyogre, who was glowing with blue light and several stripes of dazzling red light, and then the four rays of light converged into a ray of light and continued to shoot towards the distance. Yi Kai said with a smile, it's the real one. But this made Chu Zongtian and others dumbfounded. How could there be another Kyogre here, and that one looked more like the one five years ago? What on earth was the one that was hit and flew away? Huge confusion invaded everyone's brains, making everyone stunned. As the whirlpools around Kyogre slowly dissipated, the sea monster also smashed directly from the air to the sea surface, raising layers of huge waves. Then there was no movement at all. Then, Kyogre roared, and a dazzling blue light emanated from his body. The black sea water that had just been spreading stopped instantly, and the surface of the black sea water emitted a light blue light, and the sea water gradually returned to its original blue. After doing all this, Kyogre slowly sank into the depths of the sea. Then the rain stopped, and the dark clouds in the sky also dissipated, followed by an extremely dazzling sunny day. At first, everyone felt normal, but soon they felt that the temperature of the scorching sun was unusual. Just when everyone was confused, a head wrapped in red armor with two spikes on both sides suddenly rose from the sea. It was Groudon. Seeing this, Yi Kai showed an expression of, I see. It was probably because Groudon sensed Kyogre's aura and came to fight. Groudon stretched out his head, turned left and right, and looked around with a pair of wise eyes. Perhaps he didn't see Kyogre, so he slowly retracted his head into the sea. Seeing this, Yi Kai wanted to subdue this Groudon for a moment, but unfortunately he didn't have a big. No, that's not right. Tongzi, where is my last mission reward? Where is my master ball? Ding, host, since you are busy with your business, I didn't bother you and put your reward directly into the system space. In fact, the system was very nervous at the moment. It remembered to give out rewards last time, but forgot. But before it opened its mouth, it had secretly put the master ball into the system space. Sure enough, when Yi Kai opened the system space and saw the master ball inside, he was relieved and said, not bad, but you should remind me next time. Okay, host, I will definitely remind you next time. Alas, it's a pity for Groudon this time. Looking at the ocean that had returned to calm, Yi Kai planned to go back to find Sha Qingxie. Kyoto Command Room. Niu Lao was stunned in front of the screen, recalling the battle scene in the Whale Sea just now. Niu Lao frowned and murmured solemnly, to Kyogre. Looking at the calm screen again, he said to the operator, contact Lao Long and tell him that the matter has been resolved. Whale Sea is fine now. Yes. Chu Zongtian and others looked at the calm sea and breathed a sigh of relief. Let's go back, no, let's go to General Jia and join the rescue operation. Yes. Yes. Yi Kai rode Latios over the Whale Sea, looking at the city that had just been baptized by the disaster. He didn't know how many people died and how many people would be destroyed. But when he saw that group of people in military uniforms and alliances were still rescuing people who were still in distress. He thought that there might be many people who were destroyed this time, but as long as there were such a group of lovely people, there would definitely not be many. After Yi Kai met Sha Qingxie, he took her away from the Whale Sea. Under the sea. In the abyss, a pair of scarlet eyes suddenly opened, turned their eyes and closed again. Kyoto. After receiving the news, Alliance Leader Long brought the other two Alliance Leaders back to the command room and asked about the situation just now. Niu Lao did not say it verbally but asked the operator to replay the scene just now. When the three Alliance Leaders saw the figures of Latios and Latias, their eyes widened immediately, and then looked at each other. That's right, when they had not reached the master level, they went to the, SS, level wormhole in Chungwa Basin together. At first, the two Pokemon did not show up, but fought them in a state of invisibility, 
which caused them to be beaten and had to run towards the wormhole exit before they could figure out who the enemy was. After driving them out of the wormhole, the two Pokemon slowly appeared. If they hadn't been so scared at the end and stretched their heads back, they would never have known who attacked them. Mew Lao found the strange scene of several people and asked, what's wrong? Is there any problem? The leader of the Dragon Alliance patted the operator on the shoulder and said, pause it for a moment. Then he pointed to the blue and white Pokemon on the big screen and said, that Pokemon is the one we met when we went to the, SS, wormhole, and it also beat us. Alas. Mew Lao was obviously shocked when he heard this, and couldn't help but exclaimed, what? This seemingly inconspicuous Pokemon didn't expect to be so strong. Mew Lao looked at the other party with an inquiring look, could it be that this Pokemon is also? Alliance leader Long nodded slightly and said, yes. Immediately zoom in on that Pokemon. Yes. Alliance leader Wa suddenly said, look, there seems to be a person sitting on this Pokemon. As the picture continued to zoom in, several people naturally discovered this scene. But because the picture was too blurry, they didn't care. A remote island in the East China Sea of Dragon Country. Under the island, in a huge laboratory. Mr. Green Hat, how is the data of the sea monster this time? Mr. Green Turtle, the data of our masterpiece this time is very good. According to our comparison, the combat power of the sea monster has far exceeded any of the three sacred birds controlled by the Dragon Kingdom. Even the three of them combined are unlikely to be the opponent of the sea monster. Yoshi. Mr. Green Hat, you are so great and so powerful. Mr. Green Turtle, you are too kind. Our Dark Passage sect is our island country's secret base in the Dragon Kingdom. Our mission is to create as much trouble as possible for the Dragon Kingdom. Do you understand? Oh, I understand. So, this is my mission and responsibility, after all. The creation of this sea monster is also thanks to the Kyogre cell tissue you collected a few years ago. Quote. Ah, it should be, it should be, Mr. Green Hat, we are all contributing to the island country. Ah, it's a pity. What a pity for work. Although the sea monster is strong, it is still a big gap with the real Kyogre. Mr. Green Hat, you and your team have tried your best, you have done a good job, and there is still. As they talked, the two people who spoke bird language looked at the dark earth monster in front of them, which was contained in a huge green potion jar, and their faces showed excitement and madness. Time flies, and in a blink of an eye, it is the day to separate from Sha Qingxie. Looking at the meteor city behind him, he rode Latios and flew away. Yi Kai embarked on a new journey alone again. I thought Sha Qingxie would start school later. After all, the disaster happened in Jinghai and it would take a long time to recover, but I didn't expect that Longguo was so efficient. In just over a month, Jinghai City resumed normal operations, and the operating speed was slowly and steadily increasing. In fact, this is no wonder. After all, as the most important capital and strategic gathering place in Longguo, the Longguo government will definitely do its best to restore the economic ecology of Jinghai at full speed. As for Huang Ting's death, it did not cause much social impact or even attention. Everyone thought that she died in the disaster, even her parents thought so. They could only sigh at Huang Ting's bad luck and misfortune. In the past two months, Yi Kai and Sha Qingxie. After visiting many places and having many in-depth exchanges, their relationship has also improved a lot. Yi Kai now really regards Sha Qingxie as his wife, from the initial desire for her body to the current emotional entanglement. Because Yi Kai found in the process of getting along with Sha Qingxie that she is indeed a good girl and worthy of his cherishment. Kyoto. Mu Lao and Long Mengju sat opposite each other in Mu Lao's office. Have you found out the origin of that strange Kyogre? No, there is a very suspicious location. Our people have searched it, but we didn't find any traces. Alliance leader Long suddenly said. Well, do you think it is possible that it was done by the people from the Dark Passage Gate? After all, the riot of dozens of Gyarados two years ago had the shadow of the Dark Passage Gate. I have also thought about your guess, but let's not talk about where the Dark Passage Gate is. The key is whether they have the ability to do it. Well, that's true. But Alliance leader Long seemed to have thought of something, no, not necessarily, maybe they can really build it. This made Mu Lao look confused, why? Even if humans don't have this ability, what about Pokemon, or the legendary beasts? 
You mean borrowing the power of the legendary beasts, this. Mu Lao couldn't help but paced left and right. According to our understanding of Groudon, Kyogre, and even the three sacred birds, although they originally did not belong to this world, they have the ability to control the weather changes in this world. It can even be said that Pokemon itself is a very magical and unscientific creature, even an existence beyond science, so this situation is not impossible. If this is true, it will be very disadvantageous for us. After all, this organization is the only one that likes to cause large-scale disasters to Longguo. Although other dark organizations do not do anything, they are not as malicious to our Longguo as the Dark Passage Gate. I even suspect that this organization was specially established by other countries to deliberately cause destruction. Listening to what you said, Lao Mu, it is really possible. What will you do next? Continue to investigate or what? Continue to investigate. Regardless of whether this matter was done by the Dark Passage Gate, this kind of organization must be discovered and eradicated as soon as possible. Well, I agree with this idea. Oh, by the way, we still haven't found any clues about the person who subdued Latios and Latias. Do you want to continue investigating? After hearing this, Lao Mu was stunned at first, and then said, no need. Of course, there is no need, because he already knows who that person is. Since Yi Kai got his ID, applied for a card, and got a mobile phone, he and Yi Kai have exchanged contact information. He also asked the other party about this matter. That person is him, so naturally there is no need to check again. Okay then. On the other side, Yi Kai was riding Latios and flying in the sky. To be honest, he really didn't know where he was going. He was a little confused now. Just then, the phone rang. It rained all night long. My love overflowed like rainwater, butterflies on the windowsill. Hello, who is this? Hello, is this Yi Kai? It's me, Mr. Mew. Oh, what do you want to talk to me about? It's like this. The global trainer competition held every three years is about to start. It will be on October 10th this year. However, our Longguo has fallen out of the top 10 in the world for three consecutive times. The results of the most recent competition have dropped to the 18th in the world. I am afraid that if we fall further this time, we will fall out of the 20th. So, so I want you to help train our Longguo team this time. I wonder if you are willing. Hearing this, Yi Kai thought in his mind, and then said, then what was our Longguo's usual ranking in the past? Our Longguo's previous results were usually in the top 5 in the world, but now, alas. To it's you who don't want to. I agreed. What, what, you agreed? Yes, I agreed, what's wrong? Oh, oh, nothing, thank you so much, ha ha ha. Nothing, what should I do next? Well, I will ask General Chen to pick you up, and then if there are any specific things or questions, just ask him directly. Okay. Okay. Then I'll trouble you, I still have something to deal with, I'll hang up first. Okay. Beep beep. In fact, Yi Kai didn't know how to train people, but he still took it. Yi Kai just wanted to experience the joy of being an instructor. After all, when he was in Blue Star, he wanted to exchange identities with the instructor during military training, but he never realized it. Now that this opportunity has come, he naturally doesn't want to let it go. As for saying that Yi Kai was just fulfilling his own wish, that can't be said. He will still take the responsibility. Although he lacks practical experience, he has a large reserve of theoretical knowledge. After all, the theory in the game should be counted. The key is that he also has a master level assistant in combat, Koga Greninja. As soon as Yi Kai hung up the phone, General Chen called. Hey, just tell me where you are going. Yi Kai got straight to the point. General Chen on the other side was obviously stunned by Yi Kai's direct decision. Uh, okay, you come to my place first, it's the wormhole base. Okay. Beep beep. Yi Kai hung up the phone, turned on the navigation and rushed to Chungwa Basin. This time, Yi Kai only flew for half a day to reach Chungwa Basin from Nanshan province. It was already past 8 o'clock in the afternoon. General Chen came out to pick up Yi Kai in person and said that he would stay here tonight and let the helicopter take him to the training base tomorrow morning. Seeing this, Yi Kai also agreed happily. The next day, early in the morning, General Chen personally flew him to the training base in a helicopter. 
Suddenly, Yi Kai saw a huge open space and a dozen military tents in front of him on the plain. There were two rows of people standing in the middle of the open space, but they were standing lazily. At this time, someone below looked up at their helicopter, and then for some reason, the two rows of people stood neatly in place, no longer as lazy as before. Yi Kai saw it, why did it feel like the head teacher came to check the morning reading? General Chen on the side smiled and said, that's our training base. How about it, the people we selected are not bad, no one is watching them so consciously standing in line, you see they stand quite standard, ha ha ha. Yi Kai looked at General Chen with a weird look on his face, thinking, this is probably because you didn't see how they looked just now, that's it. Seeing General Chen's confidence, Yi Kai could only say in a proper manner, well, it's not bad, but it still needs to be trained. Sure enough, General Chen couldn't help but look happy when he heard what Yi Kai said, well, you can train it as you like, don't show mercy, ha ha. Soon General Chen took Yi Kai off the plane and came to the group of people. Everyone, this guy next to me. This is your instructor for the next period of time. Yi Kai, welcome him with applause. Pa, 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 pa. Well, everyone, be quiet for a moment. I tell you, you must respect instructor Yi. If I find out who doesn't listen to him, just get out. Did you hear that? I heard it. Louder. I heard it. Seeing this, General Chen nodded with satisfaction and said, well, okay, let Instructor Yi speak next. General Chen cast his eyes on Yi Kai on the side. Yi Kai looked at this group of people, most of whom were in their early 20s. Judging from their performance just now, there should be quite a few troublemakers. Hello everyone, my name is Yi Kai. General Chen has just said that you can call me Instructor Yi in the future. I won't interfere with other things, but just listen to me during training. Quote. After he finished speaking, there was a burst of applause from below. Although it looked very harmonious, Yi Kai still saw a few people showing disdainful corners of their mouths, and there was not much respect in everyone's eyes. Yi Kai didn't take it to heart, but just smiled at those people. He knew that it was probably General Chen who was acting as a deterrent, otherwise the other party would have jumped out to confront him and find faults. Okay, then Yi Kai, I'm leaving. Remember to call me if you have anything. Yeah. When the helicopter disappeared from everyone's sight, a teasing voice reached Yi Kai's ears. Instructor Yi, right. How old are you? You come to teach us. The speaker was a tall and strong boy. At this time, he had no standing posture. He held his chest with his hands, tilted his head, and looked at Yi Kai with disdain. Sure enough, but Yi Kai was not angry. Instead, he turned around and looked at the man with a smile and said, Me, are you qualified to ask? Yi Kai's face suddenly turned cold the next moment, which scared everyone. Even the person who just spoke was stunned and paused, but the next second, loud laughter came from many people's mouths. Ha ha ha, ha ha ha, you still ask me if I am qualified, then who are you? Don't think that you can get our recognition just because you were brought by General Chen. We respect General Chen because he is a strong man, and you, hum, if you want to get our respect, you must defeat us, everyone, don't you think so? Yes. 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 The echoes are endless. The more you play, the more you will be able to play. Looking at the people who were laughing at him, Yi Kai was not angry. After all, this was giving him a chance to show off and slap his face. Why should he be angry? He put his hands in his trouser pockets and looked at the group of people in front of him and said. Okay. Since you want to compete, I will play with you. I don't care whether you come one by one or all together. When everyone heard this, the laughter did not stop but became louder and more wanton. At this time, a man with a white face, a handsome face, but a hint of a smirk walked out of the line and came to Yi Kai. He looked directly at Yi Kai and said, I'll meet you. Before Yi Kai could speak, the team exploded. Wow, it's Peng Zi, he's the second young master of the Peng family in Jinghai City. Yes, and Peng Zi was ranked third during our selection. Yes, yes, after this instructor knew that you had revealed brother Peng's background, he probably didn't dare to use force. What are you talking about? It's still a question whether he can beat brother Peng. Yes, Peng Zi, you have to show mercy later, don't hurt our instructor. Listening to the various flatterings from the people around him, 
Peng Zi's mouth corners could not help but slightly rise. Looking at Yi Kai in front of him, he raised his eyebrows and said, What do you think, do you dare? Seeing this, Yi Kai just nodded slightly expressionlessly, and then took out a pokey ball from his pocket. A blue light flashed, and Greninja was released from the pokey ball. Seeing Greninja, Peng Zi was obviously slightly startled, and his eyes stagnated slightly. The people below also stopped smiling and dispersed, clearing a battlefield for the two. But in a moment, Peng Zi retracted his expression and took out a super ball. A yellow light flashed, and it was a Pikachu. Although Yi Kai was a little surprised, it was only because it was the first time he saw Pikachu in this world. As for the other party's attempt to use the electric system to restrain his Greninja, he could only say that the other party was a little whimsical. If it was Xiaoji's Pikachu, he might really be in awe of it, but the rat in front of him obviously did not have the strength of Pikachu. Someone around was talking. Well, yes, it is a good idea to use the electric Pikachu to restrain the water-type Greninja. Indeed, I remember that his Pikachu has reached level 38. When he was selected, this Pikachu helped Peng Zi defeat many opponents. Yi Kai cast his eyes on the other party and said, Okay, you go first. Okay, in that case, I won't be polite. Pikachu, use 100,000 volts. After receiving the order, its eyes flashed with excitement, and then the electricity in its body began to surge violently, and the pink cheeks flashed with electricity. The tail began to gather electricity and the current flowed. With a crisp, Pikachu, chew. From Pikachu, its body seemed to have turned into a small generator, and a thick current attacked Greninja. Greninja, get out of the way. Greninja shouted, Koga, and dodged with a flash. The opponent's 100,000 volts hit nothing. Someone around exclaimed, Wow, this Greninja is so fast. Yeah, who has a detector? Test the level of this Greninja. A cute girl wearing gold glasses said, I have one. Let me see what's going on. Then she took out a small instrument from her pink bag and scanned the Greninja on the field. 61. Someone nearby couldn't help asking, What level? Then the girl pointed at the Greninja on the field and exclaimed, Wow, this Greninja is actually level 61. Others, including Peng Zi on the field, were stunned when they heard the girls cry. Most of them looked at Greninja and Yi Kai on the field with stunned faces. Some people stared at the field with serious faces. A very handsome man, who is also the first in this selection team, Hua Wuao said, Alas, it seems that Pengs will lose this round. I didn't expect that this instructor Yi, who is so young, actually has a level 61 Pokemon. It's really not simple. Ji Yushi on the side also echoed. Alas, yes, this instructor is indeed not simple. Ji Yushi is the second in this selection. Although Pengs is the first. The third place, however, is far behind Hua Wuao and Ji Yushi. The third place and the following places are not at the same level as the first and second place. The gap between them is very wide. Yi Kai saw Peng Zi, who was stunned, and reminded him, This is a battle, don't be distracted. Seeing Peng Zi react, Yi Kai immediately said, Greninja, finish that Pikachu. Water Shuriken. Then, Greninja squatted slightly, and his hands quickly formed seals, as if summoning the water element of nature. With a, Greninja. From Greninja, the surrounding water vapor began to gather and formed a hazy mist. In this mist, Greninja's eyes flashed with blue light. In an instant, several sharp streams of water burst out of the mist. They quickly condensed and formed in the air, turning into several sharp water shurikens. These water shurikens are crystal clear, emitting a faint blue light, as if they were carved from pure crystal. Greninja suddenly jumped up, waved his hands, and those water shurikens shot towards Pikachu like arrows from a bow. Each water shuriken was extremely accurate, and both the speed and power reached an astonishing level. At first, Pikachu took the initiative to dodge a few, but still could not escape the fate of being hit. The water shuriken hit it and burst into a crisp sound of water, accompanied by splashing water and strong impact. Since the first time Pikachu was hit, he was hit continuously and screamed. Pengs, who heard Pikachu's scream, really reacted at this time and hurriedly shouted to Pikachu, who had been beaten to a pulp. Pikachu, get out of the way. Everyone saw that Peng seemed to be a beat slower in his brain at this time, and he was still at the moment when Instructor Yi reminded him at the beginning. 
Pengs also realized his ugly appearance, took a look at Pikachu who had lost his ability to fight, and hurriedly took it back and ran back to the crowd. Yi Kai looked at Peng Zi who was running back in a panic and couldn't help shaking his head and said, if anyone else wants to challenge me, you can come up. If you don't want to join me, you can also release all your Pokemon at once to compete with me. There is no limit to the number. You can release as many as you want. I don't mind. Yi Kai glanced at the people around him and said, how about it, does anyone want to come up? Just when Yi Kai thought that no one would come up again. I'll do it. The sound of a young man's voice was so clear and beautiful. This is a clear and delicate female voice. When this voice sounded, the people around were excited again. This is the goddess Ji Yu Shi. I saw a tall girl with long hair, youthful and beautiful, walking out of the crowd expressionlessly. Wow. It's really goddess Ji Yu Shi. Goddess Ji Yu Shi is one of the only two intermediate Pokemon trainers among us. Her strength is comparable to that of the first place Wa Wuao. That's right. Moreover, my Ji Yu Shi has a level 50 region. If this instructor Yi really only uses this one Pokemon, there is a real chance of winning. Ah, 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 what do you mean by your Ji Yu Shi? It's clearly my Ji Yu Shi. Goddess Ji Yu Shi, we support you. The flattery from below continued. But Ji Yu Shi seemed to have not heard it. She was in a completely different state from Peng Zi just now. It might also be because Yi Kai showed a certain strength. She walked to the opposite side of Yi Kai, then stared at Ji Yu Kai with a pair of phoenix eyes and took out a pokey ball. A yellow light flashed by. It was Raijin. This situation was not unexpected by the people around. After all, this was the best choice. Yi Kai saw that the other party did not release any other Pokemon after releasing a Thunder Elf. It seems that the other party has his own pride. But Yi Kai still asked, aren't you going to release other Pokemon? Ji Yushi just had a blank expression on his face and said with a slightly cold tone, no, let's start like this. Seeing that the other party had made a decision, okay, let's start. Yi Kai did not rush to give orders, but waited for the other party to make the first move. Ji Yushi seemed to have seen the other party's intention, so he was no longer polite, Thunder Elf, use electromagnetic waves. I saw that the Thunder Elf first slightly lowered its body, and then its eyes flashed with bright electric light. The Thunder Elf used its own electrical properties to absorb weak electrical energy from the surrounding environment and gathered it in its head. As the electricity continued to gather, the electric light around it became more and more dense and flashing. Seeing this, Yi Kai said, Greninja, use smokescreen to block the opponent's vision. Greninja. Just before the opponent finished charging, a thick smoke enveloped the Thunder Elf, completely blocking its vision and making it lose its target. Greninja did all this and quickly moved to another location. Ji Yushi frowned when she saw this scene, and clenched her jade hand, staring at the black fog in front of her. The Thunder Elf had successfully charged at this time, but because its vision was suddenly blocked, it could only bite the bullet and hit the place where it started to remember. In the smokescreen, the Thunder Elf suddenly fired weak electric shocks towards the place it expected. These electric shocks flew forward at a speed and trajectory that was difficult for the naked eye to detect, forming a dense network of electric currents. Unfortunately, this was destined to be a missed attack. Yi Kai immediately shouted, Greninja, now. Greninja's eyes immediately became smart. Then, he quickly formed seals with both hands, and with a, Koga. From Greninja, the surrounding water vapor began to gather rapidly, and Greninja's eyes flashed with blue light. In an instant, many sharp water-shaped rapiers formed, turning into several sharp water shurikens. Then he suddenly jumped up, waved his hands, and those water shurikens shot into the black fog with the sound of breaking through the air like Zub crossbow arrows. Just after the Thunder Elf released his moves, Yi Kai had basically determined that the opponent had not moved, and with Greninja's rich practical experience, he could lock the position of the Thunder Elf more accurately. Sure enough, when several water shurikens shot into the black fog, they were basically aimed at the Thunder Elf. The Thunder Elf was full of vigilance when he couldn't see anything around him, but because the speed of the water shurikens was too fast, he couldn't dodge at all. Soon before the black fog dissipated, the screams of the Thunder Elf came from inside. Hearing this series of sounds, both Ji Yushi on the field and the people around him couldn't help but show surprise. 
How is this possible? It can hit the thunder spirit. Does this Greninja have a perspective eye? I think it's just luck. After all, with so many water shurikens, it should be possible to hit a few. At this time, a clean and handsome boy wearing glasses adjusted his glasses and said, No, if the direction of the skill is based on the direction of the skill. Direction, speed and strength can roughly determine the position of the Thunder Spirit. Of course, the premise is that this Pokemon has extremely rich practical experience. Quote. Wa Wuao, who was standing aside, stared at the Greninja on the field with a serious face and said, Yes, it seems that we underestimated this instructor Yi. Although the opponent looks about the same age as us, or even younger, his strength and experience are indeed not comparable to ours. Quote. Hearing the words of the man with glasses and Wa Wuao, the others also shut their mouths and looked at their instructor Yi in disbelief. Ji Yu Shi on the field listened to the analysis of the people around her, and couldn't help but worry about her own thunder elf, and beads of sweat oozed out of her head unconsciously. As the black fog slowly dissipated, a scarred thunder elf appeared in everyone's sight, but the opponent did not fall down, but supported with trembling limbs. It can be seen that the opponent is about to lose the ability to fight. Ji Yushi saw that her thunder elf did not fall down, and she was also relieved. As long as she did not lose the ability to fight under the opponent's attack, it would be fine, but she also saw that her thunder elf was already at the end of its strength. She cast her eyes on Yi Kai opposite, and found that the other party was looking at her with a smile on his face, as if telling her, do you want to continue the game or what? Looking at Koga Greninja again, Ji Yushi finally shook her head helplessly and said, alas, I give up. Some people around heard their goddess admit defeat, although they all looked regretful, but they didn't say anything. After all, they also knew that according to the current state of Leeling, it was impossible for Greninja to be a match. In fact, Yikai had not attacked because he was waiting for the other party to express his attitude. Seeing that the other party understood what he meant and made a choice, he did not embarrass the other party. Since you admit defeat, then go down. Of course, you can also release other Pokemon to compete with me. I promise that I will not change Pokemon, only this one. Forget it, you win if you win, and I lose with conviction. In addition, you are indeed qualified to be my Giyuzai's instructor. After saying this, she took back Leeling and walked back to her original position. Seeing that the arrogance and disrespect in the eyes of the people around him were obviously gone, Yikai couldn't help but raise the corners of his mouth slightly, and said to the people around him again, who else? As expected, the surroundings were silent, but a few people intentionally or unintentionally cast their eyes on Wa Wuao. Wa Wuao just shook his head helplessly and said, don't look at me, I am definitely not the opponent of Instructor Yi. My level 50 Pokemon is a fire type. Logically, Ji Yu Shi is more likely to defeat Instructor Yi than me, but. Alas. When those few heard Wa Wuao say this, they all lowered their heads and gave up the idea. After a long time, no one stood up and no one spoke. Yi Kai said, no one. Then why don't you gather and stand up quickly? When everyone heard this serious voice, they immediately took action. After a while, the team was lined up, still in two rows, just like at the beginning. Not bad, the movements are not slow, all right, report the number first. 1, 2, 3, 29, 30. Until the last person reported, 30 people, not bad, the number matched what General Chen said. Okay, now that everyone is here, then I will tell you my rules next. First of all, I am a very free and casual person, but since I have become your instructor, I will naturally train you well. I will be more restrained, but my style will not change. Starting from tomorrow, every morning at 7 o'clock, start 5 kilometers on time, just run around this playground, don't be lazy, I will let Koga Greninja watch you, if I find any of you dare to be lazy, you will not be allowed to eat for a day. Of course, if you are sick, I will let happen cure the disease and then continue to run, so don't make excuses for me. Don't ask why you are running, you have to ask is the strong body quality. Therefore, if you can, you can also let your Pokemon run with you, make progress together, and strengthen the tacit understanding. Yi Kai looked at the time on the mobile phone and raised his head. Okay, it's almost 10 o'clock now, what else is there, let's do it by himself. The Pokemon run together. Ah. 
Yi Kai looked at the weird eyes of everyone. Why, are you not enough, not enough, I will add five kilometers. Ah. Ah. Instructor Yi, why don't you stop running? We only need to run 5,000 meters, hee <laughs> hee. Yes, 5,000 meters is enough for us, Instructor Yi. Yes, yes. Just now, I saw your expressions and the tone of Ji Yushi. I feel that you are too idle. It is rare to meet such diligent students like you. I am very pleased as an instructor. Ah, ah, Instructor Yi, this. Okay, don't let me run more, otherwise I can only let you run 15 kilometers reluctantly. After the words fell, the noise disappeared. Seeing this, Yi Kai smiled and turned away. When everyone saw Yi Kai leave, they started to discuss again, but they were basically complaining. After all, they came here to receive training to participate in the world trainer competition and win glory for the country. But Yi Kai didn't train but only ran, which they thought was inaction. Someone inside said, Brother Wuao, Sister Ji Yu Shi, what does instructor Yi mean by this? If we only run, maybe by the time we participate in the competition, we may even become unfamiliar with our own Pokemon's moves. Who said it wasn't? Our principal was counting on me to bring honor to the school, and now, oh. Listening to the complaints of the crowd, Hua Wuao and Ji Yushi looked at each other and nodded. Okay, in that case, let's go find General Chen together, and then we will share the responsibility, how about it? Ji Yushi was the first to say, I agree. With Ji Yushi taking the lead, one, agree, after another came out. Soon, everyone reached a consensus. So they released their flying Pokemon and flew towards the base where General Chen was. At this time, Yi Kai finally found his own exclusive tent in the tent area. Suddenly, Yi Kai heard a series of shouts and continuous air braking sounds coming from the square. He turned his head and looked up at the sky. He saw everyone riding flying Pokemon and flying out of the base. Although Yi Kai was very confused, he didn't intend to intervene. Wormhole Base. General Chen frowned at the people in front of him and said with a gloomy face, What's the matter? What are you going to do? Did you get Instructor Yi's permission to come? When everyone saw General Chen's expression, they were indignant at first, but they lost their temper in an instant, and they were scared and dared not speak. Even Hua Wuao and Ji Yushi were the same. They didn't know why they flew to find each other and why the other party was so angry. What's wrong? Are you mute? Why don't you talk? You know, he personally sent Yi Kai over this morning, and told them to listen to Yi Kai, but all these people came over. Isn't this a slap in his face? How can he explain to Mu Lao and Yi Kai? Although he was angry when he thought of this, considering that these people were about to fight for the country, he immediately breathed a sigh of relief, suppressed his anger and said, what's going on? When everyone saw that General Chen's tone and expression had eased a little, they collectively cast their eyes on Hua Wuao. Seeing this, Hua Wuao could only bite the bullet and say, General Chen, it's not right for us to come here together, but this is what Instructor Yi agreed to. This obviously made General Chen a little confused, but his face looked much better, agree. At this time, Ji Yushi on the side also said, Yes, Instructor Yi asked us to move freely and arrange our time freely, and when we left, Instructor Yi did not stop us. Isn't this consent or acquiescence? Hearing this, although General Chen was still a little confused, he believed that the other party would not dare to lie to him, so his face was no longer gloomy, and even his anger was almost gone. Okay, even if Instructor Yi acquiesced, do you think it's right for a large group of you to come directly to my military base to find me? Hearing this, everyone hurriedly bowed collectively and said, Sorry, General Chen, we were wrong. This was the countermeasure they had thought of before they came. That is, if they made the other party angry, they would collectively admit their mistakes. The two of them were so angry that they had to face each other. Seeing everyone like this, General Chen waved his hands helplessly and said, Okay, don't play this trick on me. Tell me, what do you want to see me for? Then he turned his back and stopped looking at everyone. Everyone breathed a sigh of relief when they heard this. Then, Hua Wuao said, General Chen, we are here to complain to you this time. Complain. What? Who? General Chen turned his head away from them and said. These three questions made Hua Wuao a little confused. But he reacted immediately, looked at the people behind him, 
took a deep breath, and said carefully, yes, it's to report Instructor Yi. What? When he heard the three words, Instructor Yi, General Chen immediately screamed and turned to look at Hua Wuao. You want to report Instructor Yi, are you going to report it, or are you going to report it? Everyone heard it and said in unison, we are going to report it. General Chen frowned in confusion and said, what? We want to report Instructor Yi for not doing anything. We are here for training, but he asked us to run every day, 5 kilometers, no, now it's 10 kilometers. Running. General Chen paced back and forth in front of everyone. Suddenly he stamped his feet and said, are there no other training tasks? No. This time everyone answered together. Only running. What's the purpose of this? After thinking for a while, General Chen still couldn't remember, but he still didn't think of questioning Yi Kai. After all, the first person in Longguo said to do this, there must be a purpose, and it is very important. Tell me what Instructor Yi said. Okay, Instructor Yi said. As Hua Wuao finished speaking the last word, tacit understanding, General Chen's eyes lit up, as if he had woken up and finally understood Yi Kai's intention. Then he smiled and looked at everyone and said, I know, but I won't say it. Just do what Instructor Yi said. If Yi Kai knew that General Chen understood, he would definitely ride over on the split sky seat to ask him what he understood, after all, even he himself didn't know what he was saying. But, before Ji Yu Shi could finish his words, he was interrupted by General Chen. Don't say but or no, you shouldn't question Instructor Yi. Instructor Yi's teaching you may be the greatest blessing in your life. Ah, I envy you a little. Okay, go back. Don't come to me because of your confusion in the future. Just remember one thing, what Instructor Yi asks you to do is right. Go, go, go back to the training camp. After saying that, General Chen asked people to drive them all out. Although everyone didn't understand what General Chen meant, they also knew that General Chen would not harm them, let alone Longguo, so they could only hold as many questions as they came, and hold more when they go back. General Chen stood by the window and looked at the people going away. Ah, what a bunch of silly kids. Soon everyone returned to the training camp. Looking at the empty venue, everyone planned to go back to the tent to have a good rest. But there were still a few people who were training and learning from each other in the venue. The two typical representatives were Hua Wuao and Ji Yu Shi. Soon, it was evening. At this time, Yi Kai was still sleeping in the room. But everyone came to the playground, looking at the sky not far away, as if expecting something to appear. The cute girl with gold-rimmed glasses looked at her phone and then at the sky, frowning and complaining, what's going on? It's half an hour past meal time, why hasn't the food delivery come yet? Someone else echoed, yeah, I don't know, I thought something happened to the food delivery. Well, it's possible that they forgot about us, or, you say, is it possible that this is General Chen's punishment for our behavior today? I think what you said is very likely. Yes, I think so too. Well, it seems that I'm destined to be hungry tonight. Just as everyone was complaining and discussing, Yi Kai just woke up and walked out of the tent and came to the square. When I saw a group of people sitting on the ground in the square staring at the sky, I couldn't help but ask, what's wrong with you? That instructor Yi, the person who delivered the meal tonight hasn't arrived yet, and it's almost 40 or 50 minutes late. We are starving to death. Yes, 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 you see, everyone is talking in a weak voice. How about you call and ask, instructor Yi, and urge them. Yes, instructor Yi, you are the best. In fact, when Yi Kai heard the first person speak, he wanted to laugh, but he held it back. As for why, it was because he told General Chen in advance that he didn't send food. Although General Chen was a little confused, he still did what he said. Yi Kai said, oh, and walked to the other end. He pretended to walk into the tent. In fact, he took out the grill and charcoal from the system space, as well as some seasonings and ingredients, and moved them to the square at once. Because of the, oh, just now, everyone was too lazy to look at him. As Yi Kai set up the grill, lit the fire, and put the chicken and fish on the grill, soon, waves of fragrance spread from the grill as the center. It was already dark at this time. Just when everyone had given up hope and planned to go to bed hungry tonight, waves of barbecue fragrance rushed to the tip of everyone's nose. 
Do you smell a smell? He said, wrinkling his nose and sniffing hard. Someone couldn't help but say, I smell it, it smells so good. Quote. Yes, it smells so good. Well, it seems to be the smell of barbecue. A fat white male student said. No, to be precise, it smells like roasted chicken and fish. At this time, someone found the source of the fragrance and shouted. Look, it seems to be coming from instructor Yi. It seems, it really is. Let's go and take a look. Okay. I'll go and take a look too. At this time, many people got up from the ground and shouted. Take me with you, I'll go and take a look too. Hey, don't run so fast. Quote. When everyone came to Yi Kai, they couldn't help but swallow their saliva when they saw the grilled fish and chicken on the grill. You guessed it right, it's really grilled chicken and fish. Alas, your nose can't be a dog's nose, so sharp. The fat guy just now counterattacked. Who are you talking about? You have a dog's nose. Okay, okay, I'm kidding, but this chicken and fish look really delicious. Yes, yes. Yi Kai ignored everyone's gaze, or completely ignored everyone, and then took out his own secret barbecue ingredients, grabbed a handful and sprinkled it on, and the fragrance of the chicken and fish instantly reached its peak. The combination of secret barbecue ingredients, roasted chicken and roasted fish sublimates the whole aroma and taste. Yi Kai took the roasted chicken, tore off a big chicken leg, blew it gently, and then took a bite. Hmm, it's delicious. Yi Kai deliberately raised his voice while eating. Finally, someone in the crowd couldn't help it. Instructor Yi, what are you eating? It smells so good. Yi Kai looked at the man, who was a little fat boy, and smiled and glanced at him and said, Ha ha, you ask even though you know the answer. This made the little fat boy scratch his head embarrassed. He he, that, Instructor Yi, I haven't eaten for a long time, so I'm not familiar with it all of a sudden, so I'm asking. Oh, is that so? Yes, yes, I haven't eaten for three days, instructor, can you believe it, woo woo woo. As soon as the little fat boy said this, the surroundings suddenly became quiet, followed by a burst of silence and laughter. Yi Kai stared at the little fat boy with a weird look, you forgot after not eating for three days. I think a lot of your meat is contributed by them, and you still have the nerve to say that you are not familiar with them, I even suspect that you are deliberately playing tricks on me. But Yi Kai couldn't say that. Hem, hem. What's your name? My name is Miao Tiao. Slim. Yi Kai looked at him with a strange look. Seeing the strange look, Miao Tiao said immediately. Miao means sapling, but this Tiao means a thousand miles away. Oh, then what? Then, what then? Nothing then. Xiao Pong was confused by the question. No then. Nothing then is good. He said and continued to chew his big chicken leg. Xiao Pong finally realized that he had been led astray. Just as he was about to speak again, Yi Kai said while eating, since everyone is fine, let's go. It's dark now. Everyone should have a good rest at night. Don't forget the 10 kilometers tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock. Hearing this, everyone immediately realized that yes, they still have 10 kilometers to go tomorrow. If they don't eat tonight, the food will be delivered at 8 o'clock tomorrow, which means they haven't eaten for 24 hours. After all, they didn't eat at noon because they went to the wormhole base. So far, they have only had breakfast. Thinking of this, everyone instantly regretted going to complain in the morning. Now it's good, it's just a loss. But fortunately, they didn't know that it was all done by Yi Kai, otherwise they would hate Yi Kai to death and then join forces to beat him up. The cute girl in the crowd was so hungry that she couldn't help but said, Instructor Yi, can you tell General Chen to deliver food to us on time tomorrow? Yi Kai glanced at the other party, and then tore off a big chicken leg, then took out the pokey ball and released Greninja. Just when everyone was wondering why the other party released the Pokemon, Yi Kai said, To be honest with you, it was actually my idea not to let General Chen deliver food. What? What? It was your idea. At this time, everyone's faces became visibly ugly and full of anger, but a few people did not, but looked as if it was true. Why? Yes, why? Why don't you let us eat? We didn't break the rules and slack off, and it hasn't even started yet. Yes, yes. There were even a few boys who were ready to fight and stepped forward, but Greninja suddenly used water shuriken, and several water swords hit those boys, scaring them to stay where they were and not dare to move. Everyone now finally knew that the other party was going to release Greninja before speaking. 
Yi Kai's eyes suddenly became cold, and he glanced at everyone and said, Why? You still have the nerve to ask me. This sentence instantly made everyone present quiet down, which may also have the deterrent effect of Greninja. Today is my first day here, and you guys are already questioning me, and you've even gone to General Chen to complain about me. You're really capable, ah. At this moment, Yi Kai had already turned into a dramatic actor. General Chen did tell him to complain this afternoon, but he didn't intend to pursue the matter. After all, he knew that even if they complained to the emperor, it would be useless, so he planned to use this opportunity to have some fun, to play with them, and to educate them at the same time. When everyone heard what Yi Kai said, they all lowered their heads in embarrassment, even. The few people who wanted to fight with Yi Kai just now loosened their fists unconsciously. Everyone was silent. Just when everyone thought that they could bear it and have food tomorrow, Yi Kai's next words completely made them explode and aroused public anger. Oh, by the way, not only will you not have food today, but from tomorrow on, no one will send you a meal. What? Why? Yes, why? This time, the guilt in their hearts has disappeared, and even Hua Wuao and Ji Yu Shi, who had not shown any reaction just now, began to have opinions. Hua Wuao said with an ugly face, Instructor Yi, this is a bit too unreasonable. It will make you. Does it make you look too petty? It's okay, I don't care. Besides, if no one delivers food, can't you find food by yourself? I don't restrict you in any way. But from now on, you can only find food in the wild. As for how to find it, what can be eaten and what can't be eaten, it all depends on you to judge. I have contacted General Chen and asked him to find people to guard the three kilometer radius around us. This is your future range of activities. Well, if you don't want to lose the opportunity to go out for food for a day because you can't run 10 kilometers tomorrow, then go out and find it quickly. It's not too late now. By the way, don't think about contacting your family and the forces behind you to put pressure on me, complain and complain. You can try, but I don't know if it will work. After speaking, Yi Kai glanced at everyone and continued to lower his head to eat the roast chicken. Although many people were still dissatisfied at this time, they didn't dare to make trouble again. After all, Greninja was still watching. But this did not prevent some people from secretly looking for family forces to put pressure on Yi Kai. Everyone once again turned their attention to Hua Wuao and Ji Yu Shi in front of them. After all, they were not only the first and second in this selection, but also had the most profound backgrounds. The Hua family where Hua Wuao was from was the family of Hua, the deputy leader of the Pokemon League, which could be regarded as the real top family in Longguo. The old man was born in a poor family, and the young master of the Ji Yu family was born in a poor family. There is also Ji Yu Shi, who is the eldest daughter of the Ji Yu family, one of the top families in Beijing, and the daughter of Ji Yu Tian, the current head of the Ji Yu family. Because the young master who was born in the Ji Yu family more than 10 years ago was lost, and with her talent as a Pokemon trainer in recent years, Ji Yu Zai's status in the family has become higher and higher, and she has the potential to become the heir of the family. This time, she represented the young generation of trainers in Longguo to participate in the World Trainer Competition, which made her prestige in the family more and more improved. If she can get a good ranking for Longguo this time, she will basically be the next head of the family. Although both of them have a strong background, they do not intend to complain or ask for help from their families. After all, they have their own pride and pride. Hua Wuao glanced at everyone, then at Instructor Yi who was eating roasted chicken, and swallowed his saliva, I plan to find it myself. If you are willing, we can go together and take care of each other. If you are not willing, forget it. This time, Ji Yu Shi was the first to say, I am willing. The fat guy also actively said, I am willing too. He was so greedy when he saw Yi Kai eating roasted chicken. Then one after another, more than ten people nodded in agreement, including the soft and cute girl Chen Rui and the glasses man Pu Chuan. After everyone agreed, they rode their Pokemon and flew out of the training ground. There were still more than a dozen people left, a few of them were with Peng Zi, and the remaining few formed a small group. Yi Kai was chewing the chicken rack by himself, glanced at Hua Wuao and his group who were going away, looked at Peng Zi and his group who flew in another direction, and the few people who seemed to be planning to do nothing, and then retracted his gaze. 
When Peng Zi and his group completely disappeared from view, the remaining people began to walk aside and talk quietly. From time to time, they glanced at Yi Kai. Yi Kai just smiled and continued to eat. After a while, Yi Kai finished eating. Seeing that the people had not left yet, he said, it's so late, why don't you go find food or go back to the tent? One of them said, are you talking about us? Yi Kai closed his eyes in annoyance and said, are there other people here? Oh, ha ha, sorry, I didn't notice, I didn't notice, he he. The boy couldn't help scratching his head. Okay, let me ask you what are you doing here so late? Ah, this, this. Just as the boy's eyes were evasive and his tone was stuttering, another boy said, No, we feel a little sorry for you today, Instructor Yi, so we plan to help you clean up the leftover garbage and carry the rack after you finish eating. He kept winking at the other people. Then the other people also echoed, Yes, yes. In fact, how could Yi Kai not see that the others were making small moves, but he still wanted to help the other party finish the show, so he said, Oh, then okay, then you will have trouble. Ha ha ha, not hard, not hard. As he said that, two people came out from the back, helped Yi Kai to simply deal with the fire rack, and then followed Yi Kai to carry the rack back to Yi Kai's tent. After Yi Kai took the two away, the other people quickly collected chicken bones and chicken racks on the ground. When the two came back, they had already cleaned up the scene. They nodded to them, indicating that the task had been completed. So they sneaked out of the training ground, came to an open space, and started to tinker. After tinkering, they let Charizard blow fire at the bottom of a big pot continuously. At this time, Charizard played the role of a gas tank. After a while, a pot of fragrant rice was ready, and then the rice was put on the washed leaves. Then let the Blastoise add a little water to the pot, add some oil, heat the oil, pour in the chicken rack and chicken bones, and then use branches to beat. Blastoise is a mobile faucet. Finally, add some water, then add rice, some light soy sauce, half a pack of wet three spices, simmer on high heat for one minute, and a pot of chicken rack soaked rice is ready. Yi Kai, the sixth man, followed them all the way to the outside of the base. When he saw them cooking, he was stunned. No, where did you get the pot? Oh, and there are rice, soy sauce, and wet three spices. Actually, these things were brought by a man named Wang Shanyu. He likes to study various recipes and bibimbap at home whenever he has nothing to do. Finally, before coming here, I saw a new way to eat rice on the internet, chicken rack soaked rice. Because time was tight, they didn't make it. Just now, they saw Yi Kai eating chicken, and this idea came to them. They heard that there would be food later, so the others followed him and stayed to help him collect chicken racks. Everyone looked at the large pile of rice in the pot, which was full of wet and fragrant food, and couldn't help swallowing their saliva. With a voice of, let's start eating, several people took a leaf and two small branches to share. Maybe they were too hungry, so they didn't realize the appearance of the rice or the strange way of eating it. When they took the first bite, their faces seemed to bloom with spring flowers. It's so delicious. As they said, they continued to pick the chicken racks on their leaves and mix them with rice. It's really delicious. There's even meat. Yes, yes. Thanks to Wang Shanyu this time. Otherwise, how could we eat such delicious chicken bran rice? Yes, I think I must have a bowl of chicken bran rice every day in the future. Otherwise, what's the point of living like this? Yi Kai hid behind a tree and watched the others eating with relish. He couldn't help wanting to have a bite. He decided to make a meal for himself tomorrow night. Hua Wuao and Ji Yushi led everyone to a forest about two kilometers away from the base. It was a bit gloomy and quiet here, with only moonlight shining through the leaves. If one person came alone, he probably wouldn't dare to do it, but with more than a dozen people, there was naturally nothing to be afraid of. Under Hua Wuao's arrangement, the few people quickly lit a few torches and began to search. Four people in a group of four explored in four directions respectively. On the other side, Peng Zi led six or seven people to the opposite direction of Hua Wuao and his group. Several people were flying slowly in the air at this time. Brother Peng, what should we do? What should we do? Of course, we should do it normally and do it well. How about Brother Zi, let's talk to our families. Yes, yes. At this time, Peng Zi frowned and said, do you think it will work? just based on the family background of us. 
Didn't you see General Chen's attitude this morning? General Chen's attitude is to support Yi Kai. The old man was very happy, and the old man was very happy. So what, Brother Peng, your Peng family is also a big family. I remember that your family also has a champion level Pokemon trainer, plus the king level ones from our families, you are not afraid, right? Peng Zi chuckled and glanced at the other party and said, Humph, do you think General Chen's identity is so simple? Everyone was puzzled and cast their eyes on Peng Zi. Peng Zi looked at the eyes of everyone and felt very happy and satisfied, so he stopped hiding, this is also the news I heard from the family last week. I heard that General Chen will serve as a member of the General Alliance. What? General Alliance member, that is one of the real positions at the top of power. This news, as expected, exploded in the hearts of several people, and everyone was silent. Indeed, if that were the case, apart from Ji Yu Zai's Ji Yu family and Hua Wuao's Hua family, there would be basically no one else who could suppress General Chen. Peng Zi looked at the expressions of the crowd and sighed. Alas, now you know how stupid you are. No one spoke for a long time before someone spoke up. Thank you, Brother Peng. If it weren't for you, we might have made a big mistake. Yes, yes, this time it's all thanks to Brother Peng. The other people also looked at Peng Zi with gratitude. Peng Zi was so happy at this time that he finally had a few free laborers. He glanced at a few people and sighed. Okay, let's find something to eat. Okay, brother Peng. Yi Kai returned to the tent and suddenly his cell phone rang. He saw that it was Sha Qingshui's. So he quickly pressed the answer button. Hello, Xiao Shui. On the other side. Brother Ao, do you think there is anything around here? Why can't we find anything after searching for so long? Hua Wuao was a little helpless and a little anxious at this time. After all, an hour had passed and they were busy doing nothing. Their only light source was the torch, but the brightness of the torch was limited. It could only illuminate some things below. Even if there was something on the tree, they didn't know. As for using Pokemon, they had already taken it back. After all, their Pokemon were large in size and made a lot of noise. They also wanted to catch some pheasants and rabbits, but in the end, they were empty-handed. Okay, let's not panic. We need to change our thinking and methods. Suddenly, the man with glasses touched his chin, adjusted his glasses and said, I think we can do it both on land and in the air. We can continue to search on the ground, and then let the flying Pokemon with better vision at night help us see if there are fruits on those trees. They can even distinguish the smell and fruits much better than us. When they heard this suggestion, they showed a little excitement on their faces. Hua Wuao also thought this method was good and said, Okay, I agree, let's do it according to what Pu Chuan said. Okay, I agree too. Me too. After saying that, they took action. Sure enough, they harvested a lot of fruits, including pears, oranges, and mangoes. Several people looked at the fruits in front of them with excitement on their faces. They finally had something to eat. Seeing Charizard and Nightingale constantly carrying fruits back, the number of fruits was also visibly increasing, so several people planned to eat first and fill their stomachs first. After all, they couldn't carry so many fruits back at once. They didn't want to eat wild game. If they didn't have the strength, they shouldn't have any more fantasies. As for using Pokemon to catch them, they thought it was better to forget it. Nightingale had good vision at night. If he caught a spicy strip, they would be scared to death. When they gathered later, except for the team led by Ji Yushi who caught a pheasant, the others were basically wild fruits. Just when everyone was discussing how to chop the chicken into pieces, Pu Chuan suddenly said that the pheasant was a second level protected animal in Longguo, which scared them and they immediately released the pheasant. Although a few people wanted to say that it was so hidden here that no one would know even if they ate it, there were still many people with strong legal awareness among the crowd. In this way, everyone ate a few pounds of fruit and flew back to the training camp. It was almost 11 o'clock at this time, and Yi Kai fell asleep early. Peng Zi and his friends finally found a few fruits to fill their stomachs. Soon, the sky was bright, and everyone's nightmare began. 7 o'clock. Yi Kai looked at the 30 people on the field and said, Since everyone is here, then I. Just to put it simply, don't think about helping others or relying on others, everyone can only rely on themselves. If you are discovered by Greninja, you will starve for a day. 
Quote. Okay. One lap is 400 meters, 25 laps per person. The watch on your arm will record your laps. Now start. Quote. As Yi Kai finished speaking, everyone started running. Some people have skills or already have the habit of running. They start running slowly to adapt to the running rhythm, but some seem to have never run such a long distance before. They rush hard at the beginning and look very strenuous. But this is none of Yi Kai's business. Just let Greninja watch it. As for him, he will naturally go to get some fruits that Greninja likes to eat. In fact, Greninja also eats meat, but it has been eating chicken and fish with him every day for the past few months. It has made the other party feel like vomiting, so he plans to change the taste. There is no way. Who asked others to help you work? Who would do it if you don't give them benefits? Even if Yi Kai is his trainer, he is not so thick-skinned. Yi Kai also released the happiness egg specially equipped for the base and asked her to help watch it. If someone gets into trouble, they can be treated in time. Yi Kai came back after a stroll outside. It has been more than an hour. Yi Kai estimated that he we almost finished the run. But as soon as we came back, we saw everyone lying on the ground exhausted and motionless. Yi Kai couldn't help but want to laugh. This was just like how he was tired like a dog during military training. Yi Kai didn't say anything but called Greninja to come to the side to eat and communicate. Of course, the system, the translator, was indispensable at this time. Everyone looked at Yi Kai who was eating, drinking and having fun, and they couldn't help but feel a little unfair in their hearts. We are tired like a dog, but you are eating, drinking and having fun all the time. After the communication, Yi Kai knew the performance of these people just now. None of them could run 10 kilometers alone. They all ran together with the support of Pokemon. If anyone was found walking or resting, they would all be greeted by Greninja with a weakened version of Fanyan, and they had to continue running after the greeting, otherwise they would continue to greet. Everyone was forced not to slack off at all, and kept running until the end. Were there any weirdos during the period? Yes, and there were quite a few. The truth is, the truth is that the truth is not true. According to Greninja, there was a man who took off on the spot riding Charizard, wanting Charizard to carry him for 25 laps, but he fired a water shuriken and hit Charizard's wings and legs, so he ended up running with Charizard. As for why the man didn't take Charizard, it was because Greninja didn't allow it. Alas, it can only be said that he wanted to take advantage of the loophole but didn't get in. Another one actually released a female Greninja, and was ready to play the emotional card with Yi Kai's Greninja, to seduce him, and let Greninja lead him to jump 25 laps. As a result, Yi Kai's Greninja forced the man to pull his Greninja to jump the same distance, which almost broke his legs. Indeed, don't think about what Greninja's original identity and status in the tribe and wormhole, even Melodic wanted to be with him, what was a female frog. There are other things that I won't talk about separately. In short, the final result was not good. This can only be said that they were too self-righteous, thinking that they were very smart and taking advantage of loopholes, but it was not that easy. After understanding everything, Yi Kai stood up and came to the collapsed people and said, since everyone has finished, the remaining time is free time. Also, remember to find me if you have anything. After speaking, Yi Kai turned around and went back to his tent. Seeing that Yi Kai and Greninja had all left, someone spoke weakly, this, this instructor Yi, is simply trying to kill us, I feel like I'm about to die, cough, cough, cough. Forget it, cough, 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 who told you to be so smart just now, but this instructor Yi is really too cruel. Yeah, woo 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 woo, cough, cough, woo 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 woo, I miss my mother, woo woo woo. Okay, cough, cough, everyone should take a break quickly, we have to go out to find food later, we haven't seen meat for a whole day, if we don't have some meat, I feel like I'm about to become a vegetarian. Yeah, meat, I want to eat meat. After more than 10 minutes, everyone except the little fat man could stand up, but their legs were obviously still trembling. Xiaopong was with Hua Wuao, so Hua Wuao and the others waited for Xiaopong to rest before leaving. Xiaopong was so touched that he said, sorry, several times with guilt. In fact, Xiaopong was thinking, you don't have to wait for me, as long as you bring me something to eat when you come back. I have to say that Xiaopong is lazy and has beautiful thoughts, but it's not very realistic. Hongji's team set off directly as usual, but this time they went in another direction. 
As for the last group of people, since they didn't have chicken bran and rice to eat today, they had to go out to find food. Several people were still savoring yesterday's chicken bran and rice in the sky. Oh, I really want to eat chicken braised rice. Yes, chicken braised rice, the eternal god. Wang Shanyu couldn't help swallowing his saliva after hearing the size of several people. Okay, we have more seasonings and tools than the other two teams. As long as we find the meat and sprinkle it with wet three spices, the taste will definitely not be worse than chicken braised rice. Brother Wang is right, everyone must work harder later. Everyone, okay. A week passed in the blink of an eye, and everyone became obviously darker and thinner, only Yi Kai was still the same. Yi Kai has been very idle these days, almost the same as an idle fish. Hua Wuao and the others felt that they were just living in the wilderness these days. Except for a free shelter, everything else depends on themselves. This caused everyone to wander between running, resting, surviving in the wilderness and sleeping, and there was no time for training at all. They spent the next week in the same way, but they found one thing, that is, the so-called three-kilometer radius was a figment of the imagination. Since they had searched many places and there was not much food left, they sent one person to try to expand outward, but found that there was no so-called limit, so they planned to go to the nearby town for a meal. Although the idea was good, the reality gave them a heavy blow. This ghost place was almost surrounded by forests for dozens of kilometers. There were no towns in the south, east, and west for hundreds of miles. There was only a small town 70 or 80 miles to the north, but the north was within the range of the wormhole. If they went there, they would definitely be caught. Although they could not go to the town, they could go to the moor. It is good to find food in a large area. Sure enough, since they expanded their living range, meat can be seen on the table almost every day. It must be said that their living conditions have been greatly improved. Now they just want to survive. As for training, it has long been forgotten. This is exactly what Yi Kai wants. As long as he can lie flat, it will be fine. As for his teaching mode, he has never doubted its effectiveness. After all, no one of them has complained or said that the method is not good. The improvement of their physical fitness is visible. After more than 20 days of training, they are obviously more able to eat than before. Of course, they have become more frugal. Sometimes they will not vomit even if they eat bones. Now they can basically run 10 kilometers in one hour. Close contact with nature not only enriches their survival knowledge and skills, but also increases their natural artistic atmosphere. This is simply the comprehensive development of morality, intelligence, physical fitness, aesthetics and labor. Let me ask, which school or training camp can do this? I believe that there is almost no school or training camp except the military camp. This day, as usual, everyone went out after running in the morning. Everyone usually comes back before 8 p.m., after all, it is almost dark by then, and Yikai only went to bed after seeing everyone come back and taking roll call. But today Yikai waited until almost 9 a.m., and no one came back. Yikai was a little anxious, with worry and solemnity on his face. After all, even if they occasionally came back late, it would not be more than 20 minutes. He had a bad premonition, and this premonition was getting stronger and stronger. After waiting for a while, he looked at the time and it was almost 9.10, so Yikai planned to go in the direction they left. Just as he was about to release Latios, a voice came from not far away, and it seemed to be the three words, Instructor Yi. Yikai looked up and saw that it was a flame, a very weak flame, which should be on the tail of the Charizard, but the flame was too small. The Charizard was injured, otherwise it would not be like this. Thinking of this, Yikai immediately released Latios and flew towards the light source. When it got closer, it was indeed Charizard. He opened his phone to take a picture and saw that it had many wounds on its body, and there was a person on its back. It was Ji Yu Shi. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support our channel.